Whether you're coming from a boat or a stand, welcome back to the lodge with your hosts, Matthew Dredska. Wait, no, 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 that's not what I meant. No, no, <laughs> come on, no. <laughs> Dang. Uh, Patrick Mudge. I really don't know what to say that's funny because I'm not a very funny person. <laughs> <laughs> True. (laughs) And Nick Condor. There's a difference between picking and itching. (laughs) (laughs) Don't tell me they're gone. I won't have nothing left. Don't tell me you're strong. And you got no regrets. If thinking about us, thinking about them. Thinking about how I could have been. Don't tell me Back to the Lodge is brought to you by Icy Tech USA 6.03 p.m. from West Tennessee I'm Patrick I'm still Matt I'm Nick You just wanted to drop that <laughs> And we are oh back to the lodge. Are you okay? I don't know. <laughs> You're of all sorts tonight. You got a hair clip in. Got to keep, keep my swoop to the side. Yeah. Don't spill your energy drink this week. I already did that this morning. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> so check it out. A couple big announcements this week. We're starting off with the main news. We'll get right into it. Back to the lodge has been selected to cover the media and coverage of Shot Show 2021. Live from Las Vegas this January. Oh, yeah. Hell of a goss. <laughs> so how cool is that? I'm sorry. I, I'm still stoked about it. Gee, way to segue that, I, Nick. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> Dude, um, like I told you before we got on here, I have lost so much sleep because I. that's all I can think about. I'm so excited. <laughs> Are you going to put on like a nice country singer shirt? Dude, you, I'm, I'm going all out. <laughs> we're gonna get him. We're gonna get him a sport coat and uh, get him looking like, like I'm gonna be that guy that walks in with a cowboy hat and like snakeskin suit. Like, <laughs> Dude looks like a lady. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Kmart cowboy. <laughs> I'll tell you what we need help with. We need help with people to help design us some businessy back to the lodge gear. I think we got somebody that can do that though. Yeah, I haven't talked to him about it. I've talked to him enough today. He's texting Dude, me right that, now. That's a good idea. Yeah, I think it is. I mean, we definitely have our apparel, which yeah, you totally right. dropped the ball tonight. You got yours on underneath. Look at that. I do. I didn't know we were supposed yeah. to wear it to every show. I mean, what the hell do we pay for him for? I have not done laundry since last week, so I'm more than <laughs> Uno Shirto. <laughs> and then the other little announcement uh, that we want to add in there is tomorrow night, if you like our intro song, Drake White. He's going to be having a live concert streamed from the web, uh, real high production quality, video, audio. It's almost like having a front row seat, really cheap and affordable. Uh, So if you want to see a quality concert from Drake White in the privacy of your own home, go check out his social media uh, on Drake White on Instagram. And what's the, The you know his handle? Drake White Stomp. Drake White Stomp. That's it. Yeah. So check him out. On uh, Instagram, Facebook, his website, all that good stuff. Just Google him. I mean, if anybody can't find anybody now, you're you're way behind. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyways, go check it out. It's going to be a great show. Um, we've we've supported him now since July, since we met him, and everything's been pretty cool. So, definitely want to check that out. He does his live streams every Wednesdays, about the same time we do. But the concert's tomorrow, so give that a check. Definitely not going to want to miss that. Um, so, other than that, Nick, you are you got the call. Said, hey, buddy. We got it. We're going. What was the first thought that went through your mind? Where's Vegas? <laughs> <laughs> I know where Vegas is, but no. Where speak, is Vegas? Nevada. Where in Nevada? Las Vegas. <laughs> like north, south? Oh, no. That I couldn't tell you. Oh, my gosh. Didn't you just go? You just got out of school. Yeah, but I didn't go for like, uh, what is it? Um. Ge- geography? No. Yeah. No, yeah geography. Yeah. yeah. Not geometry. Geography. Exactly. I didn't go for that. 
It's like at the one of the southern tip, almost. Not quite, but okay. It's now, it's right next to the Grand Canyon. You now I, I I really need to bite my tongue here, but uh, let me tell you how really dumb I am. Oh, you have to tell us. You know, it's it's good content. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't know that Vegas was an actual operating city city. I mean, like real city. I thought it no no no. I thought it was just like just a strip of casinos and that's it. I didn't know that it was like a real deal city. Yeah, you know, people live there. What? A lot, there a were, lot, a lot there of there were homes lot there, of but yeah. as far as like <laughs> as far as like other than just casinos there, there there are ton like of other city crap there. Define crap. Like I mean, it's uh, other, you just got, you're probably going to get kicked out of shot like, show before no, we I get mean, like like <laughs> other like, like grocery stores, like just and, other yeah. like just other There's corpora- gas stations, city corporations, and schools crap, you know, and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, like I didn't know any of this until Monday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. I can't. I'm dead. Is it like, the biggest city in Nevada? I would guess so, population wise. If only we had a device. Yeah, like you don't know how to Google yet. Like, hmm. like you know that picture where it just says Viva Las Vegas, and then it's just that long strip? I know the picture that says Welcome to Las oh, Vegas. Yeah, that one. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I know you could probably sing that that's, song. That's literally all I thought Vegas was. Wow. And that's it. Well, we are going to educate you. Thank you. It is the, uh, it is the largest city by population <laughs> with uh, just over half a mil. Look at that. You got that, Nick? Just over half a mil. Mm-hmm. Yep. This half one. A, this one says six hundred sixty-two thousand. So half. it's a little bit more than over half. It's still a decent size, but it, it's still city. one of the most visited cities in the U.S. Oh wow! By far, the, um, the fourth biggest city is North Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> if you add those two together, it's almost a million. Oh, there you go. It's a, it's a big city. Now there is the Strip, Nick, and that's you know where you bigger name hotels are today like that's probably what you were picturing mgm new york new york no. uh paris bellagio all those are on that strip but then you have downtown which is the old las vegas okay and that's where you have a lot of the original staples there's some newer stuff there um they've added in uh kind of the more touristy things like that's where the zip line is if you wanted to do the, the sky zip okay. line I, yeah. granted i don't think it's open because of covid but where's the which one's the roller coaster on uh, the roller coaster is actually in New York, New York. Oh. You're welcome. I wonder if that's above us. It might be below us. We'll leave that there. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, I've actually never rode that. I've had no ambition to growing up in Ohio. Well, I just. Know, we've got roller coasters everywhere, so it just wasn't one of my. Oh, let me drop 25 bucks and go do that for 30 seconds. Right. I like. If I'm in a place for longer than a week, or, or a week, about a week, I like to spend one day doing the super tourist thing. The things that everybody goes to these places to do, just so that you can... You want to go do what everybody goes there to do? No, that's what the other <laughs> days are for. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, if if that roller coaster's open, I'm getting in line. Absolutely. Well, hey, while you're joining us, if you're just joining us and you've never joined us before, you can watch the show live on Facebook at Back to the Lodge on Facebook. It says Back to Lodge 100.9 FM radio and podcast. And our show is always repurposed to podcast released on Fridays, which we've reached the 10,000 download mark on the average. I think we actually surpassed that even more. Justin will probably, our producer will probably jump in here and (laughs) educate us. But uh, we're saying hi to some of the folks on Facebook. I see uh, Tara Hicks, Maya Baker. Maya Baker actually won a Tumblr not too long ago. Unfortunately, it just shipped out today. Because of the movie, oh, <laughs> you've, yeah, you've seen yeah. the building. <laughs> but anyway, so my actually, she tuned in. She won a Tumblr not too long ago. Barbara Pate, uh, Hope Dre- your wife's on there. We're not allowed to say her name. You said, um, <laughs> and she's not at work. <laughs> Mary Wood, Tony Easley, and my father. I see him on there as well. Um, and Will, what are you doing? Just don't don't worry. <laughs> Leave me alone. And we got Will Easley, who will be joining us here in a little while. He will. Yes, he will. So we're gonna have a stupid fun time <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> and we just had to remind will like we sat him down in the office today and we said look no swearing like mm. you have to yeah. really rope it in <laughs> i think i can do that he you know he reminds me of a younger version of larry the cable guy he really does he just has that humor 
and and he'll keep a straight face or that that slight grin when he's telling the story and it doesn't change and you can't help but laugh because his face isn't moving right but the story's getting funnier (laughs) he's such a great guy so we're gonna have him on this evening we'll take music requests (laughs) <laughs> I smacked the table and the microphone snapped. <laughs> I see we haven't tightened that up. Uh, but anyways, oh. so you can send your music requests um, right on Facebook. We're monitoring it live. Nick is at the helm and the phones. Yeah. And we'll give some stuff away, too. Ooh. We gave away. What did we give away last week? Gave we, a 25. A shirt. And a 25. Did we do a shirt last week? Yes, we did. Yeah. One of our, uh, the Back to the Lodge shirts. Yeah. 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 So we did a Back to the Lodge shirt, yep. a cooler, mm-hmm. and a tumbler. I mean, right there is two hundred bucks. Not bad. Yeah. And I mean, all they got to do is listen. Well, and they also have to return our calls when we call them to, well, <laughs> to ship, ship the cooler. That's still, on them. Still sitting on somebody's cooler. Um, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, you can win stuff. How cool is that? Hopefully, when we go to Vegas, we can win stuff. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that would be cool. Dude, that'd be great. <laughs> What's your lucky number, Nick? Uh uh, that's a long thought. Mine's, never, I, mine's five. I've never been lucky, so... Uh, five. Five. Why five? It was my dad's number in sports. It was my number. It was my sister's number. Oh, well, that's the same for me. 44. It's been, it's been Ray's number for the you know a couple of years she's been playing sports. I don't know. Family go. number. It's just always been five. Well, in that sense, mine's 34. There you go. Yep. Was that your number in the choir? No, it was my number in football. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to take a quick break. Send your song requests. Stay tuned. We're going to be giving some stuff away. You're listening to Back to Lodge on 100.9 The Farm. Hey, let's just be honest. No one can ever completely beat a mature whitetail census. But if you play your cards right, you can fool them. Now, for all the work you put in to getting this close, make sure the camo you choose is up to the task. Mossy Oak, made for moments like this. IC Tech now has tumblers and apparel. Check out ictech.com or visit the hardware house in Huntingdon, Bennett's Hardware of McKenzie, or Rev Power Sports in Jackson to find all your IC Tech coolers and accessories. IC Tech, the classic roto molded cooler that started an entire industry. 100% veteran owned and operated. IC Tech USA. 100.9 The Farm, back to the lodge. So if you just tuning in, and I see a lot of people did just tune in and then tuned out because they found out Facebook's muted for music. Yeah. But um, yeah, we have to mute the the. Come on, help me up. Should have muted. Should (laughs) have muted that. Yeah. We have to. We have to mute the sound on Facebook when music is playing. Yeah. Thank you. Copyright. Yep. Boo. Boo. But soon we'll have this all figured out. And what's so what's so dumb, weird? I don't whatever whatever word you want to use is the song. One of the songs we just played was Nick's song, and he owns it. And he owns that song. <laughs> he owns all the rights to it. Yep. But the fear is from all the videos I'm watching, the people I've talked to is they will Facebook will just pull the video, and then or they'll mute the entire video or shut our whole page down. And then once we prove that we own the rights to that song. Dun, dun, Obviously dun. we do. Yeah. Then they'll let us have it again, but then it's lost the original algorithm to how it gets out to people and then it just sits there and stalls. So if anybody else knows the way around this, please let us know. Send us a message because I just don't know if there is a way around it. Yeah, and not, not a uh, Facebook attorney guru, like right. a real <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> a real specialist. It, look, it is what it is. We got to work around it. But hey, it, it's a radio show and podcast. Facebook is the luxury to be able to watch our antics. And if you notice, I flicked Matt's ear during the break and tried to kick him, and he was lecturing me about something. I don't know. I gave him a Judy Chop. <laughs> Judy Chop. <His> knife hand. <laughs> yeah. Judy Chop. <laughs> so, anyways, we are heading to Vegas to cover Shot Show 2021. What an honor. And looking forward to it immensely. Um, I won't go into the details, but um, we got some pretty good accommodations, and we're definitely going to have. Um, a little bit of a walk <laughs> to get there, uh, depending on the Uber. I was I was actually looking into how they're operating, and you know they're doing everything responsibly. They've got 
sanitation stations, masks, all this stuff everywhere. And, and the Uber is the same nationally. You just got to wear your mask mm-hmm. when you get it out of the Uber. But it used to be the Ubers were like one minute wait, 30 second wait. Now it can be up to like 28 minutes. Still not the end of the world. Ooh. Just got to plan for it. But look, we're three, I won't say young, but healthy guys. Two of us are young. We can, yeah. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I am still young. Yeah, um, yeah, you are. We can shoe leather express that down to where we got to go. The only difference is one of the things I didn't tell you guys. Oh, oh no. Oh, yeah. There's a butt. Oh, no. You got one carry-on bag each. Oh, I know this. Like, no luggage is what you're saying. You're not you don't need luggage. You're only gone for four days. Oh. Just okay. a carry-on bag. What? But we have to take all our media equipment in those. I was about to say, how are we going to do that? <laughs> oh, I didn't think about that. Yeah. Look, the the, the the camcorder, our HD, you know, production quality camcorder, that's not huge. Right. That'll fit. I'll fit that in my bag. Look, I can fit four days of clothes in a fart knock and pillowcase. Look, wow, I almost slipped up really okay. bad. Yeah, you what, did. What, what, what is the weight and dimension limit of a carry-on? Are you getting into that right now? Yeah. I don't know. It's like 22 inches by yeah, it's, nine okay. or something. Because if we're having to do that, I'm wondering. It'll say <laughs> approved fit carry the board on board in the bag. We don't need the board. Well, you know, yeah, we, do, we yeah, need yeah. the board. <laughs> That's what I, I think. We I I'll think, fit it in my I bag. I think we ship a small box. Or we just pay uh, to check one bag. I don't know. Are we not allowed? Uh, I can fit everything I need in a backpack. I, I've traveled to Asia for 14 days with a carry on. I mean, I I can make it work. So we're not allowed. Uh, Luggage. If you show up with luggage, no, I'm okay. going to kick your butt. I don't know. <laughs> Just carry on. Okay. But it's usually a carry on plus a personal bag. Yeah. So we should be able to get away with a backpack and a carry on bag. A small bag. Yeah. We just got to fit all our crap in. I'll. I'll. I'll one, f- one bag. <laughs> Look, Nick, it's been a while since you flew, but yeah. you are not allowed to put anything underneath the airplane. Mm. It's just going to be the stuff you can carry on with you to your seat. Okay. So and you can thank me for not booking the front row. I booked the second row, so you can put a bag under the seat in front of you. Mm, there you go. I see what you did there. Yeah, one step ahead, uh, dude. <laughs> I how many flights I have I probably been on the last two three years? I don't know. Not <laughs> just, and just just trips in general, which there's a whole conversation. I don't even know how many miles that I have. have. I know I'm like a platinum traveler in United, and so do you have. Um, Reward miles? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think, you know, and I, and I don't mind it, but the longest flight I have to do every year, which we didn't do this year because of COVID, is the leg from either Newark, New Jersey, or Chicago <clears throat> to Tokyo. Ooh. And that's about a 15, 16 hour flight. <sighs> mm. And you're crossing the date line and 12 time zones. So. It's literally a day and twelve hours ahead when you get yeah. there, from oh, the time you oh land. So yeah, it's. But the, the cool part is when you fly back, yeah, you it's time like the same time. You time travel on your way back. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, I'm leaving at noon on Friday. When do you arrive? Noon on Friday. <laughs> so, <laughs> yep, time yeah. travel. So that's that is kind of the, the cool part about it. I don't know. Yeah. But man, I'm six foot six, dude. I get off the plane after sixteen hours. And I look like I have serious disability when I get off. I mean, I look like a newborn giraffe trying to walk off the plane. Yeah, I'm fine. I go sleep in the overhead bin. <laughs> Not a problem. You could fit in there. I'm telling you, I could be your carry-on. We might make this happen. <laughs> I'll just stack all the equipment in the seat next exactly. to you. Exactly. There you go. Give it, a, give it a cocktail and Matt can sit under the... <laughs> <laughs> He'll be up there be like... Hey... I need some water. <laughs> Peanuts. We're so going to get kicked off this flight. <laughs> no. Nah. I wonder if we could fit you in the carry-on or in the overhead compartment. We might actually go to jail for that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I... I might. People get a little nervous on planes. I don't. No. When people are horsing around, well, they get a little nervous. Well... The only thing Look at that, that short little tattooed guy doing all these funny things. What? What Look is? At him. Let me ask you this: What is worse to you? I'll give you three scenarios because plane travel can be very comfortable mm-hmm. and it can be very stressful. Mm-hmm. If you had to pick between the three, you have the chatty caddy sitting next to you, the two year old sitting behind you, or the first time flyer sitting next to you and they're nauseous. I picked the first one. 
Yeah, I think I did too. Take the chatty caddy? Yeah. yeah. Cause you know me, I'll out talk them. <laughs> <laughs> You'll probably make them turn red and shut up. And you could also say something like just a little inappropriate to make them stop talking to you. Yeah. Like not get on a no fly list, but enough where they just they turn and talk to somebody you, else. You just kind of look at them and be like, "Well, when I was in prison, right? <laughs> exactly. I was. They just shut up real quick. quick. Like, well, the yeah, third the third time I was in prison. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, I love children, love children. The only time I don't is when they're sitting behind me on a plane. That's Kicking it. Just seat. sucks. <laughs> it's bad enough. Like if I have if I'm flying, especially in certain airlines, because most airlines give you. I think it's 21 inches from the back of the seat to the chair in front of you. Mm. So that's the hip to kneecap ratio, right? There's actually airlines that only give 19 to 20 inches. Ooh. And I won't say which ones they are, but I know which ones they are, and I avoid them like the plague. The only thing that gets worse than that is when you have one of those kids behind you, and the parents are just like, oh, they're fine. They're just kicking that pee out of your chair. But then the person in front of you puts the chair back in the recline position. Oh. So now my knees are smashed. I cannot... My feet... I have mat problem. My feet don't touch the floor. Because I have to pull up and get my knees higher in order to fit in the seat. So my feet don't touch the floor. Mm. So they put the seat back. By then, I've lost circulation of my feet, and I'm getting kicked in the back. That's happened twice. Oh, my god! In, in recent travel. Oh. Again. Never been my problem. <laughs> <laughs> Matt can just go under the chair in front of him and go to sleep. Patrick's tall enough that he needs to know the dimensions between seat back and seat back. <laughs> Dude, I don't. See, uh, just just for giggles, pull up the distance um, between seats on American Airlines, Frontier Airlines, and Spirit Airlines. Just curious. While he's doing that, the last flight I was on, we were on our way back to America, and uh, I had this woman fall asleep in the, in her chair next to me mm-hmm. and her head was on my shoulder for two and a half hours she wasn't asleep oh <laughs> matt might do that to you i hope not <laughs> actually you're sitting across from us matt's sitting next to me i'm on the window matt's on the aisle you're on the aisle opposite side oh wow so i'm like the single chair over there you're the third wheel wow i appreciate that <laughs> i mean you can buy your own ticket <laughs> Wow. You know, I I see how it is. I, I mean, there's no three seats together. What do you want to do? Sit on the window on the opposite side? Then you can't talk to us. Could have picked an airline that had three seats. No. There isn't. There isn't. Not, not that short not of a leg. Not for domestic. Oh, yeah. right. Right. Okay. If there is, something's wrong. Look at that. Okay, so American Airlines is 30. Oh, I was off by 10. 30 to 31 inches. That cannot be right. That's what it's saying. I'm just. That's, that's, all, that's a half foot shy of three feet, dude. Which is plenty. Spirit Airlines is 30, no, 28. Southwest is 32, which I didn't ask about Southwest, but we'll go with it. I really thought it was like 20, maybe it was 29 is what I was thinking of instead of 21. Oh, wait, I might have wrote that wrong. <laughs> oh. Well, it says America's planes have a mix of 30 and 31 inch, with 30 inches being about average on American domestic Okay, planes. that sounds right. I think in 29 <clears throat> is my, do we have a tape measure? <laughs> you probably you do, do on your new phone. What? Yeah. Nah, I'm not kidding. Yep. I'm sure you do. <laughs> Tony says he's like a, do- <laughs> a dachshund. <laughs> I hate you, Tony. Is Will on his way yet, Tony? He better be. We're going to have the new 2021 calendar release. Um, maybe Mr. <laughs> December himself. If he gets picked for December, we'll see. I think, Nick, you ended up in, like, July. Yeah. It would only make sense because, you know, I'm... Topless. We all we are. all are in every single photo. Well, well, there's yeah. one with me in my shirt on when I'm hanging off the side of the building. Yeah, I mean it's it's a definitely a dad bod calendar. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> this is this is not anything to get super excited about, but it will make great Christmas gifts for your friends. Just yeah. saying, throwing that out yeah, there. Well, I already know a couple buds that I'm going to give it to. I'm seriously going to take pre-orders. <laughs> so if you want to get the 2021 Back to the Lodge Man Bod Calendar, um, <laughs> <laughs> we got to come with a clever name for it. More more so than that, I don't know what it is. What do you want to call it? I don't know. 
I think that I think that this calendar is a perfect nightcap on 2020. <laughs> and you would need a nightcap to look at this calendar. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, some of us almost need a bra on this calendar. Yeah. <laughs> There's no pictures of you, by the way. Well, duh, I made the video. <laughs> well, I'm, <laughs> I'm not putting my photo in there. I am. There wasn't 12 in there, was there? No, there was only like five or six. Yeah, so I've got a couple a sneak of you. Pe- you don't have a picture of me topless. Not topless. We Definitely compromised. Uh, uh, but, but, but we, no, you don't have anything good. Okay. We can get one, though. I call bull. I've been saving some ever since you made my birthday video so have i <laughs> <laughs> when have you gotten any video i i watch you like not a video. hawk not photo. video i don't have a video. i watch you like a hawk that's yeah. weird so did so does philip but i got a picture of him yeah but that's nothing embarrassing <laughs> it might be for him i'm very cautious about what i do around matt you should be <laughs> jim said he's super excited that could go many different directions yeah Jim, Jim, are you excited? Super. Jim, are you excited about the calendar? Is that what you're saying? I think he's excited about Shot Show. He can't go. <laughs> Actually, he can. He's a police officer. No, he can't. <laughs> <laughs> he can. He literally could walk in there. Yeah, he could, but he can't. Why not? Because I'm his boss, and I said no. Yeah, but you know what? I think Jim in Vegas would be a trip. Yeah, we're not getting in any trouble. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Jim, unlimited bourbon in Vegas. That's all I'm going to say. And we'll see what he says. There is a delay, so he hasn't heard that yet. I give it 12 seconds. And yeah. then another 12 seconds for him to respond and right. comment. It's the direct. <laughs> it's the direction you think. I don't know, I don't what, that know what that means. means. There's too much of a delay, Jim. <laughs> What's the qualifications for dad bod? Alan, Alan, you qualify. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> you are, no pun intended, the poster child. <laughs> we're, if you're just tuning in on the radio, we're, we're reading the comments um, from the video feed on Facebook. So you can comment, and uh, we will definitely get uh, at your comment. I wasn't going to SHOT Show, but I am now. There you go. I think that would be a great idea. I am so confused by what's going on right now. Me too. <laughs> Anyways, I'm I'm losing it right now. You can send, forget it, just forget it. You can send your sound. Not oh my lord, figure it out, Patrick. Help me, please. You I, can send your song requests. Oh my on Facebook. <laughs> oh man, you gonna be right over there, bud? I need some candy. <laughs> I don't have any. Perfect time of year for it. I need some gummy bears or something. Nick, what are you dressing up to go trick-or-treating this year? Oh, we were all supposed to dress up tonight, too. You didn't tell me that. We discussed it in the last show. Mm, I don't listen to you. It literally got said last week. I don't listen either. But you didn't listen either. And neither did I. Well, I forgot, so... (laughs) (laughs) Did you bring it? No. No. It's all at home. We totally dropped the ball on that one. I'll be honest, I have no idea what you're talking about. Like, I do not remember talking okay, about Okay, there was it. a whole segment we talked about dressing up for Halloween, and we said you should wear a green suit. Do you not remember this? No. Wow. Wow. Well, thank God it's on podcast. Well. You can go back and listen. <laughs> well. Is he related to... Who? Nah. Be I'm not careful. Gonna go, I'm not going to go there. Tread softly. <laughs> uh, I love Jim's response. And my boss, I got your boss right here. <laughs> Look at your phone. He must have texted you something. <laughs> He didn't. <laughs> oh, I hope it's something good. <clears throat> oh, yes, he did. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can't say that on the air, but you can show the camera. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. We have such great video cl- or audio clips of Jim that we will air on Facebook, <laughs> not on the air. We do have outtakes from that show, mm-hmm. and it was pretty good. We st- I still have that audio file saved in my email. Oh, I see you're sending him salutations back. Sure am. <laughs> sure am. I think that just painted the picture of what's going on. They're sending <laughs> salutations. Perfectly. <laughs> that is a perfect representation of mine and Jim's relationship right there. <laughs> just that screen. I thought your, sh- your picture was watermarked, and I realized it was your shirt. <laughs> but I mean, that right there, that's our relationship. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I like that you guys have a relationship. That's cute. That's it, though. You see it. It's that army thing. Yeah. 
Smart. <laughs> Smart. I lost the cap to this pen. An army of one, huh? No, oh, whatever. <laughs> Actually, in Jim's generation, it was be all you can be. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. So, anyways, Halloween weekend coming up this weekend. Nick, since you didn't wear it, tell everybody what you're uh, going <laughs> to be wearing this weekend. Well, technically, technically, I have two outfits. One, uh, one, this is why you wanted a suitcase. Look, no, uh, one was that I bought for me per, uh, personally, and that one was, I mean, nasty, buck tooth, redneck, you know, uh, and his name was Wayne Melton. I had to think about it. Okay, so but the Halloween costume contest party that I'm going to this weekend, I'm going to be Beetlejuice. On Friday? On Saturday. Why aren't you going Friday? Because uh, it's not on Friday. <laughs> Which one are you going to? Uh, the one here? No. Oh, oh, well, there's one here on Friday. Oh, okay. So you can go to that one. Where? The mic stand. Okay. Okay. I'll be there. Will you? Yeah. Okay. So how did you come up with Wayne Melton? <laughs> I knew this was going to be good. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Literally, I sat in my office for probably two and a half hours just going through names like, oh, my gosh, what did I call this guy? God, you got a hard job. (laughs) That's what you did for two hours (laughs) at work is what you just said. Hey, (laughs) I don't judge your work life. (laughs) I'm going to leave it alone there. I'm going to leave it alone there. not going there. (laughs) Slacker. Who, me? (laughs) No. (laughs) Wayne Melton. I almost fought you. (laughs) The whole time I'm trying to come up with names, I'm like, I don't even have my teeth with me. And I'm like sticking my teeth out of my mouth. And I'm just going back and forth on names like that and seeing which one rolls real good. You know what I mean? All right, I thought it was going to be more exciting than that. Wow, okay. He, <laughs> I really have I knew, some select words for you that I cannot <laughs> say on there right now. I knew that you were losing sleep because I seen you on Facebook and your little green light was on like 1 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I'm like, well, what are you doing up? You got the morning show at like 5 o'clock. Okay, you know. Will, Will easily said that's what we need to go as Halloween. <sighs> So it I, would be clever. I can be Gene and you can be the Oompa Loompa. It would be clever. That is kind of funny. It's a little late now to try to plan that, but did you show that to Nick? No, I forgot he was here. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting closer to episode 26. Let's You're halfway there, down. bud. Yeah, I know. Wow. Halfway there. I thought that do was going to be more exciting. Do you, know where, <laughs> do you know where episode 26 is going to fall now? What did you just say? Do you have a stroke halfway through the word episode? <laughs> I'm tired, man. I've been on the phone most of the day working in that audit with, I won't say which shipping company. Right. I How I didn't have a stroke today is a miracle. I mean, mm. a miracle. You should really get that checked out, man. Oh, there, I know what's wrong with me. There's all kinds of <laughs> yeah. things wrong with me. Where do we start? <laughs> we don't have enough time in the show for that. But anyways, back to my question. Do you remember, do, could you figure out where efforts... <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> You need to give up and like take a walk and. Whew, whew, it's do right. you know where episode twenty six is going to fall on the calendar? That is going to take way too much thought for me right now. Going to be awfully close to somewhere. Yeah, thirteen weeks. Thirteen weeks. Oh my gosh, you have a phone, dude. Look at the calendar. Put thirteen weeks in there. Wow. Let me let me just pause live air and let me go. Oh, well, look we at got this we now. got this covered. Just oh, okay. use your phone. Yeah, yeah. Y'all, y'all go ahead. Do do you think? Okay. okay, you can figure this out. The other thing we were supposed to do, Nick, in our homework, was to watch the debate so we could do part two. Oh, it's the week after. No. It is the week after. No. So that means you are, yeah. yeah, you will be a greenhorn while we are in Vegas. Wow. <laughs> For the last week. So that's kind of like graduation week. Yeah. It's kind of like pledge no, week. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. That's I think it. the in-flight movie is The Hangover. That's it? It should be. I'm not going. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> if you wake up in a, on a mattress with a sunburn, God. just find shade. Use the mattress for shade. I'm going to like go with like pillows 
strapped to my entire body. Will <laughs> <laughs> be things strapped to your body? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Show will be. Other than cameras, make sure you're up to date on your shots. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, get, get a tetanus booster God. before we go. Mm. Um, there's. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm just not. I was going to, but I'm not. Okay. I like you too much, Nick. Thank you. No. I don't. Tell me what it was. I'll say it. Wow. I'll <laughs> tell you during the break. Because <laughs> it's just, yeah. People, I'm trying to get back to Facebook. I'm totally been messing this up. So Tawny said that uh, Alan didn't make the cut. Brandy Renee is watching. Actually, Brandy and her brother David. Um, also, a shout out to you, Brandy and David. Uh, just lost their father. Uh, this month and they're tuned in uh, our hearts go out to you guys and uh, hope you're doing well uh, Kiana Phillips says hey Nick that is my little sister is that the one that sounds like that's Tanea's sister oh that sister okay well never should we bring them on camera no <laughs> no like, <laughs> <laughs> we might learn some stories about Nick no we are no. definitely going to have oh. some stories about Nick when we come back sure uh, will Nick on a stick is still going, right? Oh, yes, Nick and a stick. I don't know if the stick can go on carry-on luggage, though. Huh. Yeah, probably wouldn't be. We can get a new stick. <laughs> you know, from the bottom of my heart, I hate both of you. <laughs> <laughs> you think you do now. <laughs> Nick on a st- I wonder if Nick on a stick can bet on the roulette table. I think depending on who like, who, like the pit boss is... Maybe, they because they might either find it funny or yeah they probably won't find it funny and then Nick on the stick does not want to get a tax form so <laughs> that would be bad but we could just put it in your name we'll figure it out so that no no <laughs> all right so first giveaway uh, we're gonna do back to the lodge T-shirt okay <laughs> you're like. <laughs> Well, he looked at me like, say something. I don't okay. Right. It is your job right now. <laughs> how, how do you want to do it? So share the live video. And when you share the live video, let people know that we have to mute the music. But just share the live video. Tell people to tune in. Tag people in the video. And whoever does that, we will just put your names in a, in a hat. We have hats. And we'll draw a name. And we'll give you... A back to Lodge shirt, which you cannot buy. Please, please, please comment on the video that you shared it. We will verify, but if you don't share it public, I cannot verify that you shared it. So you have to, when you share it, you have to make that public. Matt has a hard time verifying many things. No, I don't know what that means. Dude looks like a lady. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to, look, there was a statue in Indiana. Matt, yeah. Matt violated it. Nah. Oh, no. Yeah, I, I mean, he, mm. he is a bronze statue, Nick. It was slightly grinning when it was done. <laughs> As it should have been. I mean, you could hear that bronze just <laughs> cracked a little smile. <laughs> Matt's smile was a lot bigger. <laughs> I stole a newspaper that night. I remember that. <laughs> you procured. Misappropriated. Yeah, that one. We'll go with any of those. <laughs> Just not stole. <laughs> All right, so share the live video. Tag people. Let them know. Let us know that you did it. Like Matt said, make sure it's public so we can verify it. We'll put your name in the hat. You'll win a Back to the Lodge t-shirt. What's the timeline? I don't know. You, well, look, there's rules. I don't do rules. What, what's the, what rules you want to set here? When we come back from the break. Oh. Which, uh, you want to do eight minutes? Yeah, that's what's well, in there, right? Well, we'll give it away right at the top of the hour when we come back from station ID. So they have till then. Yeah. They have 13 okay. minutes. So I'll give you 13 minutes. Share the video. Tag your friends. Give us some shout some love, some blue thumbs, red hearts. And if you're looking at Nick on the camera on Facebook, uh, you can put the little crying face. We'll know what it means. <laughs> wow. So there you go. We got a two-song break coming up. Message from our sponsors at, uh, well, us, Icy Tech, and Hingen Outdoors. And then catch the song on backtolodge.com or the radio on 100.9. I Got You by Josh Miranda. We talked to him this week. He's going to be coming out and joining us here in the near future and talking about his new albums and the tour he's trying to plan for 
I hate to say this, but like 2024. That's crazy. Oh, man. Because that's where our industry has gone. So, but can't wait to have him on the show. He's got a lot of stuff going on, a lot of cool things. And um, he's wrote a lot of big songs. He wrote Somewhere on a Beach for Dirks Bentley. Yep. He wrote um, uh, About a Girl, Jason Aldean. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I said that right. Was it About a Girl? I know that's like the, the lyrics, but I don't know the song title. Close enough. Manny, I'm a crappy friend. <laughs> but anyways, check out that song, I Got You, by Josh Miranda, available on iTunes and all your major platforms. Stick around, share the video on Facebook. We'll be right back. You're listening to Back to Lodge on 100.9 The Farm. Get up. Woo! Look at there. This moment was brought to you by Higdon Outdoors, a leader in the waterfowl industry for over 25 years. Check us out at HigdonOutdoors.com. Higdon Outdoors has been helping waterfowl hunters make the most of their time in the field for over 25 years. We are a family-owned company and we're proud to serve duck and goose hunters just like you. We make high-quality, innovative decoys and hunting products that you can afford, helping you focus on what's really important. Check us out at HigdonOutdoors.com. Innovation. Quality. Customer service. That's Higdon Outdoors. Get real. Get Higdon. This country was born to believe in something larger than itself, a belief that the citizens within it could accomplish anything. From defeating an empire to sending a man to the moon, we built cities, formed the land, and through this an original spirit was born that has forged friendships, been celebrated, and at times been the cause of debate. We might not always agree, but there is one thing we can all agree on, love of country and love of a fine bourbon. America Bourbon, vet owned and made proudly in the USA, available nationwide at most leading retailers and at americabourbon.com. 100.9 The Farm, um, the antics are getting out of control. My seat is all screwed up now. Mm, don't care. Look how tall I am. <laughs> oh. <You're> not tall. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can see what we were just doing. <laughs> He's trying to squeeze an inch down there somewhere on me, huh? Uh, I'm trying to get to 5'3". <laughs> Private Dretzka, where are you from anyway? <laughs> Holy cheese and something else comes from Wisconsin. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, so in a couple minutes, we're going to have Mr. Will Easley, former Marine and Icy Tech staff member, join us in the studio. There will not be a dull minute. No, there won't. You're not going to miss us. And... I don't think people follow the rules. I don't know. Three say that they did. I'm missing that because I don't see it. Daniel, Missy, and David. How do I not see that? I don't know what to tell you, bud. You see comments? Yep. Yep. (laughs) What in the heck? I don't see anything. Seriously. I don't want to tell you, bud. (laughs) I'm look. I am totally going to start getting even harder on you because my father just texted me and said, "Leave Matt alone." Thanks, Dad. Mm. Okay. Well, I didn't want to be that guy, but maybe it's time to tell a dad story. Oh no, <laughs> I won't do it. We'll save that for a rainy day. <laughs> All right. Well, what time you want to? I mean, if you want to, top you wanna, of the hour. If you want to talk to the t- to it flips, we can do that. We'll do that. So yeah, we're still in the FM, so we're still going to do the change of the hour. Yep. FCC yep. requires that we do the station identification at the top of the hour, so we'll be doing that. Nick's like waiting with his finger on the button. Matt's putting names in the hat. Somebody's going to win a shirt here very quickly. So you still got another minute left to share the live video, invite your friends, and comment that you did it however i can't see the comments for some reason i don't know what's going on matt can oh tawny you are not nice mm-hmm. all right <laughs> it's time to take a break Is that bad? i don't want to talk about it oh somehow i went from dad to pawpaw pa- <laughs> what's weird is we do have eight shares of our video we just don't know who well, only, comment only, that they only three it. commented so, don't mm-hmm. know what to tell you, but Mm-mm-mm. I don't know what I hate worse, Paw Paw or Nacho. I'm a big fan of Paw Paw. Paw, yeah, 
Pow pow. There's another shirt. I'm gonna put Daddy on my shirt when we go to Vegas. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we gotta take. Uh, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Should, should we? Should should we have? names on all of our shirts. Oh, we will definitely put a name on your shirt. Don't worry, Pinky. P- all right, we're Pinky. Gonna, we're going to take a quick break for station identification. When we come back, Mr. Easley should be here in the studio. What? 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 Everybody's throwing ours. Ours, ours okay. got seven. Now we're taking a break. You're listening back to Lodge. We'll be right back on 100.9 The Farm. Hey, let's just be honest. No one can ever completely beat a mature whitetail census. But if you play your cards right, you can fool them. Now, for all the work you put in to getting this close, make sure the camo you choose is up to the task. Mossy Oak. Made for moments like this. Usually right about now, we'd be playing some music. But due to restrictions and copyrights, we can't allow music to play. So if you'd like to hear music in between breaks, tune in every Wednesday evening from 6 to 9 p.m. Central and hear us live at backtothelodge.com. Click the Listen Now button and you'll be back to the lodge. When you purchase an Icy Tech cooler, not only are you getting the best and original Rotomold cooler for your barbecue, your kid's graduation party, or maybe even the boat, but your proceeds from that purchase go on to help Gold Star families receive grief counseling retreats so they can heal and get a little piece of their heart back. So they can have the same quality of life that we share. Icy Tech, USA. 100.9 The Farm. We're back to lodge. Had to do our little station ID. All right, Matt. How many people shared the video? Uh... Five. Five people. So this will be an easy one. So if you shared it, tune in. Watching. We got it on video, so you can see we're not cheating here. Let's grab. Toss them. Okay, ready? You ready? I'm ready. All right. Dustin Mummer. Dustin, you want a t-shirt. So go ahead and just actually just comment right on the comment. Say what size you want. And come by and pick it up from the new shop. We got you covered. That was easy. That Super was easy. easy. Super that easy. easy. So just like that, T-shirt. And we lied about Will. He's not here yet. Yeah. <laughs> so, Nick, Yeah. now that I'm sure you've been researching Las Vegas, mm-hmm. what have you found to be the most interesting, besides that it's a real town? <laughs> um, I've heard and read that uh, it's got some really, really, really great food. <laughs> Yeah. 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 That's an understatement. Yeah. You can... I think just in the resort that we're staying in, and I'm trying to think, number one... Okay. I hate even talking about this, but we're going to talk about this. I am not a fan of Starbucks. Okay. Just not a fan. Is what it is. Sure. He's a Dunkin' guy. I am. Okay. I like their hazelnut coffee. Fair enough. It's just great. But anyways, Matt and I travel quite a bit. Yeah. And typically, there's a Starbucks with the hotels we stay at or, you know, cities. And it's really the only decent coffee to get in the mornings. Speaking about how much we travel, I believe my wife is going to learn about our travel next week on the show before I even tell her. (laughs) (laughs) Thank God she's not your boss. You'd be fired. (laughs) Wow. I would not be telling my wife on the air. (laughs) Anyways. Anyways. So, look, when we were in Indianapolis um, this year... Yeah, yeah. January this year, yep. before COVID, pre-COVID, we mm-hmm. call it PC. <laughs> there was a Starbucks in the hotel on the way to the archery trade show. Mm-hmm. It was horrible, so inconsistent. Yeah, it was horrible. Bad. One day we walked downstairs and there was a long line. Like you just—it's one of those lines you look at and you're like, oh, "I'm not getting coffee today." <laughs> like this. Sucks. Sucks. I'm just wondering where you're going with this story. <laughs> No, I'm not going to tell that story. Okay. <laughs> that was our buddy that was in line. Our <laughs> buddy. He works for a com- competition cooler company. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he a little extra. soft. <laughs> He's extra. He got a little sugar in his step. <laughs> but anyways, we went to the Starbucks across what, the street. What did I call him? I'm not going there. No, it's not bad. Oh, uh, Muffin muffin Shop. Muff, 
Yeah, muffin chops. Not chop, but yeah, muffin chops. Because <laughs> he had mutton chops, but he was really soft, so muffin <laughs> chops. Sort of like a rhinestone co- cowboy, but he was like a faux lumberjack. He was more like a bedazzled cowboy. Yeah. yeah. I'm a Kmart cowboy. <laughs> Anyways, we went across the street, hit that Starbucks. It was amazing. Perfect. It was really good. Yeah. And no line, yep. which was wonderful. The Starbucks at this resort in Vegas, Nick, where you get your coffee every morning, the line can be 40 people long. Okay. You'll be out in five minutes. Oh, wow. And it's perfect every time. Damn. Because I think they just have a higher quality standard there that when you go in, no matter what you order, perfect. Right. Perfect. Like, you, you feel like somebody handed you this little gold nugget in a cup and you're drinking. You're like, wow. <laughs> the, that's worth the $6 a Ex- cup. Right. Everywhere else, it's like, how do you screw this up? Like, it tastes like battery acid. <laughs> okay. Not that I know what battery acid tastes like, but it's just, it's what happens. So this resort, the coffee's perfect. Now, moving around in the circle, the next stop is a five-star Italian restaurant. Okay. Some of the best gnocchi and pastas and steak. Actually, they have really good ribeye. Mm. Phenomenal. Then you've got a Asian cuisine where you have Japanese in the first step. They have an amazing sushi bar, mm-hmm. like high top shelf sushi. I would put it over just about everywhere here in the in the lower forty eight. Right. I can only think of one, maybe two places I've been at that are comparable. Then you've got a noodle bar, so you've got all your other uh, Asian cuisines from Thai to um, Vietnamese, and it just. Right, really good. There's some. I think they even got Cantonese. It's pretty good. Oh, wow. Then you've got a steakhouse, um, black tie steakhouse. All the steaks are dry aged in the cabinet. Amazing, amazing. And then you've got uh, what is it called? Well, it's a pizzeria, but it's New York style pizza. Mm-hmm. So it's good. Extra greasy. Yeah. Perfect at two o'clock in the morning. It's open twenty four hours. Oh wow. Now, I don't know if the other stuff is open. I know the Mexican restaurant is open. There's a Mexican restaurant right next to that one. This is all in the same hallway. Oh, okay. And they're all sit down. Oh. Yeah. You That's have no nice. Idea. You have no idea what you're getting into. Mexican place is pretty good. Mm-hmm. In the For breakfast, they used to have a crepe station. And you can order okay. all different kinds of crepes for breakfast and get your coffee and just sit there. Man, it's wonderful. Um, they've got a deli. Deli, deli cut the sin, if I'm saying that right. All man, it's like New York style deli, like fresh cut corned like, beef, pastrami. Oh god, yeah. well, you think of it, they got it right. It's right. that good. I'm excited. They have a five star burger bar. I think it's actually called the Burger Bar, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure, but really good burgers. Mm-hmm. I, I was really skeptical. I've been there several times, but I never ate at the Burger Bar. And I said, well, last time we were at Shot Show. Um, I was actually Andy's watching right right now live. He said, uh, "Amazing." He says, "Yes." Andy and I went and ate with um, one of our counterparts that we were working with when we were starting to do the sunglasses. Okay. When I met the gentleman that makes the sunglasses for yep. Icy Tech, and we stopped in and had a burger at this burger bar. It was pretty good. I was like, "Wow, no. I'm not. I, I like a good burger, but I'm never really impressed by a burger." Sure, this impressed me. I'm like, and you know how I am with food. Oh, I know exactly. I, I mean, I've already ma- memorized the map out of where the food is. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's pretty good. And then Andy, when Andy and I were there, we went to, uh, he said, Andy said, this is New York, New York. Yes. Came late. So okay. is there, is there any place in mine right now that is a must go to when we get there? Everything. 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 Okay, I didn't know if there was like a one that just really sticks out. Like, I, we have to go. When it comes to food, I'm just going to lead the way. <laughs> okay. Hey, I've learned to trust you on that. Follow me. <laughs> Take my hand. We're That's going right. to the restaurant. <laughs> no, they. I mean, it, look, the food there is top notch. There, yeah. There's. If there's one thing I miss about Vegas, it's the food. Yeah. But the show is a whole other story. That okay. is just floor after floor after floor of vendors, manufacturers, um, everybody that's really supporting the outdoors in, in so many different ways. And what do we have here? Walking into the studio now is Mr. Will Easley. We're yeah. going to get him plugged in and set up. And like I said, there will not be a dull moment. He knows the rules. He's been briefed. <laughs> Look at that. Will. 
Welcome to the show. You got her figured out? I don't know. <laughs> bring, you can bring that closer to you. Down, down. Can you hear me now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. He ain't got a good radio voice. Who would have thought? Uh, Matt said I had a face for radio, so I figured this might be it. <laughs> He's got the legs for radio, so it works out well. Oh, <laughs> it's a tall chair though. You might want to take that home. <laughs> I love him already on the show. <laughs> How would you like a full time gig? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> so, anyways, um, we've been talking about the move. We've been moving from our old building at IC Tech to the new building, and we've known Will for quite a while, but. You came in and took over kind of as the foreman on this project and getting the building remodeled. What did you think of uh, your first days? All right. <laughs> Tiptoe. <laughs> and remember, I'm sitting right here. Yeah, that's you're far. Well, I don't know. you got really long arms, so that might be. I got hot coffee, too. <laughs> Pass. <laughs> so, I mean, it started out really rough. Um, so we didn't know really how many people we were going to have you know doing it and the time frame was close to perfect yeah it was it was lovely um <laughs> i would have almost chosen any other time frame <laughs> but that short of a time frame made us rush some things yeah. and we we ended up with better oh, we ended up with better ideas than we probably would have in the first place uh we got to meet philip uh, shout out to Philip for like the fifth time tonight. <laughs> uh, and it, when you see the almost finished product, it's it's better than what I envisioned at first. Um, I mean, it's just, and it's so far from where we thought it was going to be and from where it was. I mean, the possibilities. There's so much room for activities there mm. that it's just, it's going to be something people are going to enjoy to see for a long time. Now, we mentioned it before you came in, um, Mr. Easley, mm -hmm. or Willie, or mm -hmm. Will, or William, or oh, we haven't called him Bill yet. We have a Billy. We have a Billy. Yeah. But we also have a Will and a Will and a Will, so. I'm the best, though. Well, there's a Will, there's a way. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll figure it out, whatever it is. But what our viewers may not know is you're a former Marine. I am. Yep. So you served from when? So I enlisted tail end of 15, um, <clears throat> got out of boot camp early 16. Um, I wasn't in that long. Um, late 18, uh, I got hurt, and I joined when I was 23. So if you ever meet Marines, usually they're like 19, 20. So 12. Yeah. It, it, yeah. Just up here, <laughs> you know. <clears throat> um, and that, nothing's changed there. But uh, no, so I joined when I was a little bit older. Um, they were, when I got hurt, they were a little bit less willing to spend the time on me, yeah. uh, to go ahead and get me fixed up and keep me in. So my 20 year plan turned into about a three year plan. And, uh, we ended up back here a little sooner than I imagined. Oh, that's um, how life works sometimes. Yeah. You don't really get to choose it, but we had a little one. Um, so that's standard issue. Yeah. What was best for her, um, <laughs> is, is good for us, I guess. So. Awesome. So what is your favorite crayon? So, <clears throat> sounds kind of cliche, but macaroni and cheese. Um, it's false advertising as far as taste goes. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, we. it's kind of a mellow yellow taste. It's, uh, <laughs> it's not as strong as some of the others. Um, but, aside from getting stuck in your teeth, <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad. I was going to ask another question, but I can't. <laughs> Well, okay, so anyways, you end up, you come out of the Marines, you're back here in West Tennessee, your, your yep. family bloodline, your your family tree has been rooted here for a long time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my, I mean, uh, actually, my grandparents live about three miles from where we're sitting. Uh, my dad lives about three miles from where we're sitting. Um, my mom's still in Jackson, but essentially everybody else is, except for siblings, are right here. And how many generations have been here? like all of them i don't know <laughs> uh, we've been here a long time uh long long time your your wife actually just commented in the post and said you are gilly yeah yeah that one's been there probably longer than almost as long as will um <clears throat> there's no cool story behind it 
um, sixth grade Spanish class. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Well, Will in Spanish is guille, mm-hmm. uh, which has the double L. And uh, kid in my class thought it'd be funny to start pronouncing it like Gilly, and that's it. Kind of works both ways, like Gilly suit. It does, um, which I probably should have come up with a cooler story now that I'm older. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that just sounds like a lot of effort. So we'll, just, we'll just stick with uh, sixth grade Spanish class. <laughs> so, okay, look, we, we, we know you, so we gotta we got to kind of like reintroduce you to the world here. Sure. Um, you're, you know, being a former Marine, you were an outdoorsman before you went in the military. Mm-hmm. Uh, <clears throat> how, I don't want to say how, but who got you into the outdoors? <clears throat> so oddly enough my my granddaddy um well of course my dad and my uncle jess my granddaddy and my uncle jess were always more waterfowl hunters than anything um uncle jess would he would deer hunt but he was a fisherman um he moved out wyoming for years um uh, joined the snake river anglers and his big thing was fishing uh, but my granddaddy i mean we just we were always outdoors like i said our family land that's not far from here we grew up just walking through the woods, squirrel hunting, and things like that. Uh, and my dad has always been a, a shotgun guy. Anything like that, skeet shooting, trap shooting. Um, so everybody kind of had a, I guess, had a hand in it. Um, mm-hmm. As I've gotten older, I've gotten more back into deer hunting and stuff like that, uh, rifle stuff. Well, let me uh, let me ask you this: sure. when you're saying now. <clears throat> Would you say your appreciation for the outdoors has changed since you got out of the service, and do you look at it differently? So it is going to sound cheesy, too, but not not a whole lot of it changed until I started kind of hanging out with y'all more, um, kind of seeing the things y'all do uh, with y'all's, you know, y'all's charities and the organizations y'all help support. Um, not It wasn't a whole lot different than it was before. Um, yeah, I consider myself a sportsman, or an outdoorsman over just a hunter because I don't just go out and leave stuff laying. There's there's not a lot to that. Anybody can do that. But, you know, caring for the land and keeping it up for everybody after you means more <clears throat> and getting more people involved mm-hmm. in the right way to do the outdoors. You yeah. know, let that be your happy place, you know, your safe place. And the things that y'all do, that's got me more in the mindset of well, what can I do? You know, what I've always enjoyed it, but what can we do different? So what would you say today, especially from those sitting at home from a mental health aspect, Mm -hmm. what is the most, what is the outdoor activity that really hones you in and and makes you find your way every day? So other than just being outside and taking care of the animals and stuff like that, from a hunting aspect, for us, it's it's deer hunting. Hmm. Um, My wife and I, Tony, who's probably watching right now. Um, She's been nice on here. She, the she comments has. are very tame. Good, good. Well, that will we'll, that'll get us somewhere. But uh, <clears throat> you know, we could just go out in the woods. You know, we don't we don't have a bunch of big fancy stuff to hunt out of or anything like that. Um, I hunt with my granddaddy's old rifle. She hunts with her granddaddy's old rifle. You know, we just go into the woods and we sit and we just exist for a little while. You know, it, there's no stress sometimes i don't know if you know both of us you know sometimes there's a little bit of competition uh <laughs> no <laughs> but, but that being said you know that's that's our place to go where you're not worried about phones ringing you're not worried about work the next day you're just there you know you get to be in a place where there's no hustle and bustle you don't have to worry about anything or anybody you just get to be there and sometimes we don't even hunt we just watch them I think there's also that part, and and this is what I appreciate about deer hunting, and I took it for granted for many years, is it's the fact that you have to be quiet and sit still, that it naturally forces you to not do the little things that we do. You know, if you're watching me, I I move a lot. I talk with my hands. I'm Italian. That's what we do, you know. but. Pizza pie. But yeah, pizza pie. But <laughs> me, yo, I, I, don't, I can't swear in Italian on the radio either. I'd probably still get a fine. But I can't at all. In any case, um, <laughs> but watch it. <laughs> you, you, you have to force yourself. And hunting in cold weather, like negative 20, pass. <laughs> it, you naturally have to, your body will compensate. The blood will 
for you know shunt to the major vital organs your heart rate goes down your blood pressure goes down a little bit it's so relaxing when you stop fighting that uncomfortable feeling and accepting it and then you're just at peace are you okay just him <laughs> just <laughs> look me and will spent too many hours oh, together i know he in the last I don't know month who's corrupted who or just enough <laughs> and then you were at my house this weekend for nine hours it happens <laughs> it happens so all those things that we just talked about i, I would say <laughs> this is going to sound cliche but how old are you 28 yeah in those long 28 years we will get the same haircut yeah but mine's not by choice <laughs> so mine's not either <laughs> oh well then hey it's welcome not even, not even welcome close. to the what was it called hair club for men hey what but we called? really are more aerodynamic than anybody else in this room <laughs> Well, you're nine feet tall, so maybe not, but <laughs> I got it. You have, you know, it's not the height. I just have a higher center of gravity. Way higher. <laughs> it's like nose level for Matt. But, okay. <laughs> what advice, <laughs> what life, life-changing life advice could you give somebody that was thinking about getting in the outdoors? Do it. I mean, that, it's the only thing that you can do, <clears throat> and I've... I mean, I dressed up for the occasion, but I'm, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, you know, five star or anything. I, I like to do what we can do with the basics that you could do it. Now, I'm not saying I'm not cool enough to go out with a slingshot and you know bring home supper, but it's the only thing. You know, if you go out, you play sports, whatever you do, everything. There's always more, especially this day and age. There's always buy this, buy that, buy this, buy that. Once you've got what you need and you've got a spot, I was I was blessed with a spot to to do it, you know. But once you've got what you need, all you have to do is take yourself out there, you know. And it's we, I know we were talking about you growing up and getting an iPhone, um, <clears throat> but <laughs> all right, butthead. Look, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, <laughs> Philip would not approve. <laughs> but. <clears throat> You know, it's one of the few places that you could just go and be and do and not have to just keep up with the Joneses or, yeah. or you know, do all these other things. So if there's one thing, you know, in our life that I can think of that is just almost truly stress-free, except if you're like nine, negative 20 or whatever you said, that would stress me out. But It wouldn't. You'd get used to it. I don't like it's like cold. anything. I look like I'd do great in cold, <laughs> but I just wouldn't. Have you ever thought about doing stand-up? I prefer to sit down. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Mm-mm. I think the two of you should tell the Philip story. I think, I think he deserves it. I think he does. Because <laughs> all I knew was when I came in, I heard that he goes, Matt said something like, "Well, Dad's not going to prove this." And Philip's <laughs> like, "Your dad doesn't seem like a very uh, nice but, guy." But see, here's the thing: that's four times further than where we need to start this story i know but that's the story i'm getting to yeah the philip story is a good one i mean it's a great one it's it's a great one um i wish you know he weren't so busy i'm glad that he is busy because that's great you know i know a lot of people are struggling right now um he's got a lot going on (laughs) yes he does um but you know for good folks i mean he'll he'll move things around i mean he kind of stopped a thing that he was doing just so he could get us taken care of uh, just because y'all are local and Ice Tech's doing a lot. You know, do you want to tell a Philip story? Well, it started <laughs> because lumber <laughs> decided to go up 200% seemingly overnight in the middle of a building. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we had to figure something out. And to paint the picture for everybody, we weren't looking for like structural lumber. Mm-hmm. We were just looking for trim boards. We'll start off as like barn wood. Yeah. That that is where it started with barn wood, which turned out to be eaten through with termites and rotted, and couldn't use it. So we we're just looking for something aesthetically pleasing that was not load supporting that just would look good. So we got the idea through my wife's uncle mm-hmm. to go get some rough cut. <laughs> so we found Philip. Philip's a local Mennonite, and we showed up there with. <laughs> Money in our pocket and a hope. <laughs> <laughs> and, a, and a trailer. And a trailer. <laughs> and a whole lot of stress. 
And yeah. Philip saw that, and he decided that he could be our Huckleberry. Yeah, <laughs> he was. And <laughs> the when he asked when we needed it, <laughs> and we said yesterday, he didn't quite get the joke. <laughs> Not immediately. Um, and we asked him, you know, when my next question was, when do y'all take lunch? How long is your lunch? He got a little quieter than usual. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's a man of few words. He is. He is. But I said, well, we'll be back at like one thirty, And he said, oh, how about two? I don't know what the 30 minutes difference was. <laughs> but when, when we got back there, um, he was, I mean, everything was ready to go. He loaded it onto the trailer. Um, and it was so much wood that the bobcat that we had wouldn't pick it up. Uh, actually, it, it wouldn't pick up a third of it. No, it wouldn't touch it. So actually, Matt and uh, I had the hard job of sitting in the bobcat while Matt and Tawny <laughs> <laughs> unloaded it by hand. Um, and even when we had to get more, you know, we just. But that, but that first time, that, that first time we showed up and he was actively working on, what, what was it? It was like eight skids or something for so much for a customer and he had to tear off of that to a fairly random request of we need rough cut boards which are rough cut boards (laughs) but we needed them to be within a specific dimension which is five to seven inches or something (laughs) which is now like not what you go to a rough cut guy for right (laughs) right but he did it he got it he got us a full skid in between these other people's order of what we needed yeah. and, and blew him away on the price i mean he was he was fair he was quick uh he and vernon just they're great people but he ended up as you know we're talking about like small world you know we've been here a while so philip actually knows my granddaddy mm-hmm. and knew where our our old family house and stuff was because he was he helped like 20 years ago he was helping re-roof it uh, nobody lives in it but granddad believes and you know keep stuff up so he got it re-roofed and uh kept joking about that but the best philip part of the story <clears throat> is matt and i were at the new shop and we look out and we see this long very very long black yeah. ford truck long black truck it was it was the longest truck i could think of off the top of my head like an 80 yeah and he hops out and <laughs> wait is that the truck that's a dually but only has one tire it is and not a, is. not a fat rear no it's it's a small one but <laughs> it apparently carries a lot of wood yeah but. so he shows up and um he didn't really ask to see the inside he just kind of started walking towards the door but he'd been in there before you know and he kind of was able to see what we were doing with everything and um you know after we after he figured out how big coolers can actually get you know um he was really happy with it um and then yeah phillips just well and then the second time up. before he showed up to see us we went back for a second load we had to get more mm-hmm. from him and but his did, tune was a little bit different that but second. didn't you call will a name or something yeah that's that's part of the, his part oh, we'll, so we'll, we'll, go, we'll, go, okay. we'll go back to that so <laughs> the second time we went we had to get more wood because we were boarding up the front of the building yep and we showed back up and his tune was completely different this time he knew us walked right out shook our hand we started talking about another crazy we need between 10 and 16 inch boards and a like, lot of them a lot of them <laughs> all of them and uh and we gave him a little bit longer time frame this time we gave him like five hours and i could just imagine how he felt dealing with you guys because i'll walk in and be like we'll be like we need to get boards and i'll say how many he'll go yes <laughs> a lot. Well, it doesn't answer my question well math i'm not a math magician so sometimes <laughs> when you ask me for numbers uh it hurts but philip started doing his math figuring out what he needed and then he paused and he goes you boys want to see something <laughs> i'm like absolutely philip if you're excited about it i'm excited about and it was it. some contraption that he made for a for a for bandsaw that cuts boards but it's i mean it the engineering which he was very quick to tell us was not his engineering it was his brother-in-law's but still, the engineering that went into this wood and metal gear-driven yeah. chain system it's to that cut wedges, it, it like was to level houses and stuff. How many did he say that they could crank out in an hour? Well, he said it was a four-person job, which sounded weird because he was doing it by himself. But he <laughs> said they could crank out like forty-eight hundred in an hour. 
That's that's boxed, like ready to six go. inch six inch wedges stacked and racked and ready to go yeah. in in an hour. Wow! And our relationship changed when he wanted to start <clears throat> showing us stuff. We we talked to him for yeah. a while, and and then it was like a couple days later he showed up. <laughs> that's when he showed up to see us, and yeah. we're walking around the shop showing him what his wood did, and uh, <laughs> mind you, <laughs> mind you, he is dad. You're about to get grounded. He's a Mennonite, so yes. men of the night. Men of the night, so we have to. Yeah, we, we we just talk a little bit different around him than we talk around each other. It's like radio talk. And at one point, I looked at Will and I called him a dum dum. <laughs> to which, Did y'all censor that, or is that going? That's on air. <laughs> we'll let it slide. To to which Philip's response was that he, I don't teach my boys to call each other bad names. I may have been a little dramatic about it and <laughs> tattled tail like immediately <laughs> but philip was right you know it, you can't be mean you, can, well, you almost have to tell this story like you're ice skating on a lake and you're right at the edge of that thin ice about to fall into freezing water that's where you guys are at right now just just <clears throat> putting that up there. and then at one point we we're okay so for the viewers that don't know this story yet we call patrick dad in the shop <laughs> which i despise <laughs> but we do we call him dad not usually to his face, sometimes to his face. You but have to my face often. Many times. Not, not <laughs> nearly as many times as we have behind your back. <laughs> but regardless. Allegedly. <laughs> but regardless, we said something to Philip about dad was really happy or dad. I don't think he was that happy that day. It was something about dad. Like, dad was pleased with I, whatever. I don't know what it was. How do you get money from dad? <laughs> Philip, <laughs> that could be. Philip paused and looked at Will and said, well. I don't know your dad. <laughs> because he does know my granddaddy, so I didn't think anything of it until he said, I don't know your dad. He said, but if this is his place or something to that effect, we're like, no, he's not actually our dad. And he said, oh, I think he may have thought we were related, too. Yeah. He, just, one I'm, of us I'm got not, all the height. I, I am know. not your daddy. Daniel <laughs> Thomas says, what did his boy do? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Vernon. In any case... It looks great, Will. It yeah. really does. And and we definitely, you know, seriously, honestly, deeply appreciate the hard work you put in. I um, enjoyed it. It was, Mostly. I think the only thing that went wrong for you was like, I think you took your break every time I pulled in. <laughs> and walk in and I'm like, what the hell are these two doing? <laughs> well, it's kind of like, so the dad thing, it's kind of like if you're cleaning your room <laughs> and your dad walks in and says, what are you doing? You got to stop. And be like, well, look what all I've done. You know, this is... Yeah. You know, we we wanted you to be happy with the the finished product. Oh, you know, I'm happy. Everybody's happy. Well, hey, that's what it is. No, in all seriousness, though, it has been awesome because I know what all y'all have done out of a substantially smaller facility over there. Yeah. You know, the amount of people that y'all will be able to reach once, good grief, once the ball gets rolling over here is, I mean, not to be sappy, but it's, it's really going to change a lot of people's lives, and that's... You know, that means more than a couple of headaches here and there, or, you know, spiders the size of chihuahuas and stuff like that. <laughs> 21 hour days. Yeah, I'm not laughing we, about the spiders. We have I'd, talked about this on the air. I, yeah, I don't want to. It's frightening. He keeps sending me, he, as in Patrick, keeps sending me spider videos <laughs> through Facebook Messenger. I got And it. I won't look at them. No. So then he shows up to work next day. Hey, you watched that video? No, I didn't. <laughs> well, and then he chases me around the shop. Look, 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 look. I'm not The guy looking. eating the spider? Yeah. yeah. You didn't, got that watch one? It. didn't watch it. Didn't watch I it. did. I, I'm a glutton for punishment. I don't know. <laughs> I can't read great. So I, I mean, he ate, <laughs> he ate that orb weaver. <laughs> I mean, somebody obviously dared him and said, let's make it a video in slow-mo. And he just runs up to the web and chomps down and the thing starts crawling out of his mouth and he chomps on it again i didn't finish it I'm like this is matt but look to preface matt and his fear of spiders and how big these things are he can't poop with the door closed because he's got to be able to run out that was my idea look oh I that was still, your idea you i still haven't have, closed it would you go into a building without a fire escape yes we're in one right now now there's a window right behind you and as tall as you are you can just step down but <laughs> we'd have I'm not to gonna jump. fit out that window <laughs> What about the big one? There's a big one. It doesn't open. Well, hey, it will. Oh, then <laughs> good luck. I don't know. It's a good thing we're not surrounded by wood. But um, <laughs> Justin, you have to. You have to have an escape route. Justin I, Chandler is watching. What's up, Justin? We hey, got. Buddy. I got to come see you next week. Sappy old Will, yep. he said. Sappy old Will. Look. Gilly. 
Got to. Gilly. Yeah. yeah. Gilly. That is, okay, that is officially your name from now on. I mean, I'll take it. Oh, I'm Gilly. not calling you that. So, like, we, we talked about this. Call call we, we, this was a serious <laughs> question. Have you ever considered doing stand-up? Uh, no, not really. Seriously? Mm-mm. You wouldn't do an open mic night somewhere? No, because I had to watch when I was in, when I lived in Nashville and I was doing security and stuff like that, I had to see so many of them. And there were people that like, like I, I mean, I know I say some funny things sometimes, but there were guys that just make you laugh a hundred percent of the time and they get up there and it's just, I don't know. I got, I like to make myself laugh. Uh, I like myself pretty well most of the time. And if I can make somebody else laugh, sweet, you know, but sometimes I just say things. Yeah, but I have not spent, <laughs> like, I, I've like not been Gimpy. able to be in a like, room. Like, like Gimpy? Yeah. <laughs> I have not been able Sorry, to be in a one. room for 15 <laughs> minutes without, like, laughing till my belly hurt. And in the one story you told, or maybe it was Tawny that started it, Uh-oh. was the stinky belly button. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we all have our vices. <laughs> As he's drinking a bang with a dip in. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm a multifaceted kind of guy. You know what I mean? If you can't, can't be great at something, be good at a couple of things. <laughs> but seriously, you wouldn't, you wouldn't consider? I mean, I, I don't even know. I don't, I don't think so. Just, I don't know. Well, my daddy mm-hmm. said I'm not allowed to pick on Matt tonight. Oh, I will. So you've spent two <laughs> months now. Mm-hmm using my words carefully time with Matt because <laughs> the other choice of words I use aren't appropriate I hey. swear something's crawling on my leg well, which we're talking is. about it and <sighs> I swear if there's a big spider in here it's been great it's been real I will be down those stairs so quick <laughs> you you will not have imagined that I can move that fast but if they start crawling around sorry well two months right. of the spiders and Matt we'll, we'll include the spiders I don't what is them. your best new Matt story <laughs> that you can say on air. That's what I'm... Um, he can say it. He just has to censor it. Nope. Some of them you can't. <laughs> no. No, there are some that <clears throat> probably shouldn't. You just had to be there. Um, My favorite new Matt story. Justin, that's not good info. There's nothing that you can use that for. Just leave it alone. <laughs> Justin just wrote what he said. So you're terrified of spiders. This is good info. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's no, it's not. I can't even outrun him on the bike, so it's, <laughs> it's gonna be out of, but I can hear him coming now. Uh, but no, he. Uh, I don't know the one. The one thing I keep thinking back to, and I don't know. It's it's not bad. It's just it made me laugh because I I was running the Bobcat and we were having to take the old lights down, and. I got a weird idea because, you know, safety first. So I felt like if somebody's going to be lifted with the Bobcat, it should they should have sides. You have know, like, in a cage. Yeah, so we made our own bucket truck. Kind of. Uh, picked up a shipping pallet that had three sides. There's a picture of this. Yep. There is. It's in the yep. calendar. It's true. It's you can calendar. see it. Once you pre-order, you know, you'll, you'll November, get the whole nine. November is called OSHA violation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, that's definitely it. So my idea was we ratchet strap decide <laughs> to the bobcat because that seems like it's safer um now these ratchet straps were from like 1937 a couple of them but they worked you know nobody one got, of them was mine so let's not go there well you are also from 1937 <laughs> <laughs> or 38 give me sorry. some throw <laughs> so that's a piece of paper Thank make you. it into an airplane though or a ship I'm gonna throw my cough trap but uh, but no, he went up. He was he was real he was real willing to help. Um, but I went to pick him up, and he stuck his own little arm up, you know, and it looked like Captain Underpants or something. And he just, I just kept raising him up, and it was like that. It was just it was it was efficient, if nothing else. I mean, you weren't there at first, which was good, good, best. Um, you know, Dad's worry, and that is your, you know, your baby over there that's so that makes sense but we got it done and it was mostly safe um we also had a sheet of drywall <laughs> sheet of drywall hit him in the head that was I forgot about that i well and that's what happens with head injuries but um no the drywall fell um none of us none good. of us really got hurt 
Mm-mm. The saw I mean, and the hammer drill were the closest things. My my knees have definitely felt better. My yeah, back absolutely. has felt better, but they felt worse. Yeah, there's a couple times like where that table or where the miter saw found a nail. That was that was pretty sweet. I like that. We did tell the uh, the star throwing story last week. That was ridiculous. Um, still in it. I know. Is it still in it? Yeah. Yeah. We tried it's to get not it. Not going to not be. H and S lawn care guys tried to take it down. <clears throat> it wouldn't come down. You're welcome. We almost had to take the excavator to it. I would just leave it. Li- I said before. I said, "Don't take it down. It lives there." <laughs> you took it down, and what happened? Things, Matt got it lodged higher. The world's fine. The world finds a way. You know, <laughs> that star was meant to be there. I don't know who put it there, but it definitely lives there now. Probably somebody was going to get seriously hurt. That's well, what it's going to boil down to. Almost. When I try to grab it with a hammer, um, <laughs> you know, I'm not. That was like not the best idea. It's not the worst. Let me that grab we've had a there. sharp, small, star shaped piece of steel <laughs> with a claw hammer. I covered my face. <laughs> My hand. Your feet came off the floor. By the way, that is it's also in, on the calendar. Yes, it is. Me hanging yes. from the star. That's real. No CGI. That's <laughs> real life. That's because I can't do CGI. <laughs> That's me scaling <laughs> scaling a wall with a ninja star. Hey, everybody has their skills. I believe, you plumber's, just found crack, yours. I believe plumber's Crack is March. I think so. Um, I, I really felt good about that. I, it really made me feel like I was doing something. I got... Just had like a real future in not wearing my pants high enough, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever I do now, though, that picture's going to be in my mind. I don't think and yours, I, too. I don't think I can say what I want to say. I'm, I'm like saying it in my head going, can I say this on the air? No. You can do anything you want <laughs> once. once. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we'll save what I'm going to call May. Something stamp May. And that'll be... Ah, yeah. We'll yeah, see that in the podcast. Version. Not a doctor. I don't think you could say that one on the air. I think we'll probably just have to fun guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I am. We are. We are fun guys. You are yeah. a fun guy. We are fun yeah. guys. <laughs> All right. Where are we at, Nick? <laughs> Seven forty-two. We're waking Nick back up. Hey, Nick. Yep. You with us? Oh yeah. Very good. Anything you want to add? Nope. Can you imagine he does the morning show? No, so, no, no, Nick, that's not good enough. You've had some experiences with us at the new shop. Mm Mm-hmm. Nick's in the calendar. You are, and will be more. You wear a shirt a lot, which is weird, but... (laughs) He didn't in that picture. He didn't. The (laughs) one time he took a shirt off. It was was 105 degrees. It was hot that day. Tarps off. (laughs) Tarps off. (laughs) We are always planning something bad. It's just like Matt when he's like, I don't understand why Patrick has to film every time I pee. I don't. They just happen. <laughs> because the cameras are always rolling. And you are always going to be like, that's what we do. What did you do on my birthday? I can't remember what you posted. Oh, it was the fish. When the when you were flinging the fish. Oh, when yeah. I, was flinging, and I was making fun of. So here's what happened. Matt and Chase were doing something on the bow. And I don't know if Chase caught the fish or Matt caught the fish, but they lifted it up and it came flying at them. And Matt does this like, ee! you know, like praying mantis stance. And it looked like very feminine. So I'm like, oh, I got that on camera. So I get up there. I'm like, you're done, dude. You went like this. And I mimicked him. And of course, that's when he snaps the picture. So I got mm. happy birthday to me. That was the picture on Facebook. I'm like, I and he was hate like, you. he was threatening to show the me doing that. But I got in front of it and said, look at what I got. Patrick doing mine hit the internet first so which one's the truth preemptive strike cameras that's are a copycat always running copycat. now well now that <clears throat> now that I know this is a thing um, stand by oh, I've got pictures of you oh, we have a lot more of you you but, don't know about but here's the you thing you took a picture of you on my phone I did but here's the thing in the bathroom I don't care I know none of this do neither do I you know what, what I love about Nick is he's such a good sport <laughs> oh god no, that's it. No. Okay. I was going to stop the compliment at that time. Just, yeah, I don't know when yeah. your birthday is. I know it's every year. I'll find out. But um, it is every year. Yeah. He was born so, in this millennium. No. No, I wasn't. That's true, Fino. 
I do I'll not be honest, think I don't know what that meant. <laughs> you know, it's not good math. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> it's the Marine and the Army. No, I got that one. I got that one. No, but, barely. But can, I mean, but you already know where we're going with this. Shot Show 2021. Yeah. We're taking Nick. Oh, I I cannot wait to see the results of this experience. Like, it better be nightly. <laughs> Daily. I don't know. As something happens, I want to be there. I want to live vicariously. Maybe not through you on that one, but through me. Yeah, I think I think it's going to be an experience to to write home about. Um, and the more I think about it, we're just trying to. And look, we're kind of like showing our cards early. We're just trying to get a rise out of you. But the more I think of it, yeah. the only person we're really tormenting is Tanea. So I don't want to upset her. Who is also an incredible sport. <laughs> Sometimes, well, <laughs> she's probably you're probably going home and she's like, "What do they mean? Yeah. What do they mean? Behind, what are they going to do to you?" Behind closed doors, careful. This is not what you think. <laughs> no. We're going to duct tape him to the balcony. That's all I'm saying. I, I got to say, I'm I'm pretty lucky there because my wife's like a female version of me. Sorry for everybody, but <laughs> when I introduce her like that, people say, "Oh, there's no way." And then you know, we y'all you know, played darts with her and stuff. She gets a little riled up too, <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> I think people are like wow, she you, has quite you were right quite the in depth vocabulary. She does, she does. I was, I was proud of that. She, she four fit, letter words are super easy. She fit right in with <laughs> all her marine buddies and stuff. Yeah, in North Carolina, she just never missed a beat. It's never been one of those things where I'm like, oh, should I bring her? No, nah, come on, <laughs> they'll figure it out, or, or or they won't, I guess. But you know. Uh, It'll be fun. You'll have a lot of fun at SHOT Show. Thank you. I think... Uh, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I think you are going to learn the, the other aspect to the outdoors is, and, and I mean this sincerely, the business side of it. Yeah. yeah. It is, look, all jokes aside, SHOT Show is one of the hardest working <clears throat> conventions there is. Um, I can't even think of how many billions of dollars are allocated just to this event and the transactions that take place from this event. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, when you talk about why it costs... Well, number one, so, the, so our audience understands, it is not open to the public. Mm-hmm. So, a company or a buyer's group or whatever, if they want to walk in that door and apply, because you do have to apply, you can't just buy a ticket online. Right. It's 700, 750 bucks just to walk in the door. So all joking aside, you are never going to work so hard in your life as you will that week. And the truth be told is by the time you get back to the room, you're going to be exhausted. Matt, when when he first started getting into this, what was your first show, ATA? I took him to ATA after we've done we've done so many... Well, it's usually Walter and I doing a lot of the shows. And then before that was uh, Walter. the former owner. But when we got Matt into ATA, he's like, well, what, what can I expect? Expect to be tired. <laughs> It's like no. your feet are going to hurt, your legs are going to hurt. I mean, if you were lucky, we took these the the folding camping chairs and hit them in one of the coolers. So I said, "Look, if you get a break, then you can sit down." He's like, "We going to do that?" I think it got to the point where if you were able to catch five seconds to lean up against the big cooler, you were blessed, or go sit down and eat your food and come right back. So I mean, when you're walking that floor, number one, you're walking from the hotel to the convention center. Which, depending on where you're at, can be close, can be far. And in this case, was freezing cold. <laughs> and very little sleep because business most... And, and look, if you're a business owner and you do conventions, I'm going to give you some of the most straight up advice somebody gave me a long time ago. No business deals are made on the business floor. Mm-hmm. None. They are all made after the show. Yeah. And I'm like, what does that mean? Because I used to get done at a convention or an expo and go back to my hotel room. Mm-hmm. No, you go to the business meetings, you go to the dinners, you go to the little cocktail receptions. That is where the business is done. Mm-hmm. People are tired. They they don't want to put the fake face on because there's so many of that. There's so many buyers groups, medias, people wanting free stuff. Right. It's exhausting. So when they can cut loose, don't have to stand with the perfect posture and sit down and you know grab a coke or a beer, whatever their beverage of choice is. Then you sit down, they get to know you. That's where business takes place. Right. And if you're not doing that, you didn't go through all that crap to get to the end, 
you've wasted your time right and the first full day of the convention we were there matt and i we started at six o'clock in the morning we were in the convention center by six thirty. we were done at f- 6 p.m I don't, I was five gonna, or six i was gonna say five but five or six but then we had to <laughs> book our dinner reservation take potential clients to that dinner and, and look one nice dinner can make a world of difference mm. i mean one nice dinner one nice steak world of difference and, it, and this was a proof in case i won't get into the whole thing but it was bt outdoors and we go to that dinner you go to another big conglomerate company's cocktail reception you go to the other reception for these buyers groups it, it went till what two in the morning yeah. nobody yeah. was nobody was intoxicated nobody was stupid mm. matt may have been <laughs> matt was <laughs> <laughs> but matt weighs 100 pounds look, soaking wet and I don't want to give the world the the one two punch of me and Patrick, but we have a we have a good dynamic when it comes to these things, where he looks towards the business, and then I am able to distract on the back end and keep them happy and enjoying their time and comic relief. It's yeah, comic relief. We we have the same goal, but mine's sort of clearing the path for him to get to where he needs to go. Now I know for, why they call me Super dad. fortunate for me. That means that I get to drink more <laughs> <laughs> and cut up and have a good time. And hey, look, here's my puppet. Where's your puppet? Do you have a puppet? Like, I don't know. I, no, he, he, it, we do great. We, we yeah. working together does great. And so that's my advice to any business owners. If, if you're networking and doing these expos, you, you, ha- you can't just go to the convention and leave and go, oh, I didn't, I didn't get any sales. I didn't, I didn't make any money. We're not growing. Well, why did I sound like Trump when I said that? I don't know, but you did. <laughs> it sounded really good in my head. You did. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that amazed me. <laughs> but anyways, you, you have to go to those. You have to go to those meetings that are yeah. not on the sales floor. Yep. Yeah. And and I can't stress that enough. So Nick, expect with the media coverage, you're going to be covering from early in the morning to late in the evening, and then you're going to be covering a whole different aspect in the later hours, and you'll be bouncing from. Building to building to building. And when I say building to building, I'm talking a 10, 15 minute walk mm-hmm. and doing all these interviews and covering them and helping, you know, promote the show. But our goal is truly, we, we discussed this today, yep. is to give Shot Show the best media and audio coverage uh, that they've ever had. Mm-hmm. And I look forward to doing that. That's the goal that we set for this year is to give some of the most exclusive content for 2021 and really cover where the outdoors is going. Because let, let's face it here, in another couple weeks, the availability, the accessibility, and the affordability of being outdoors could change. Mm-hmm. And we have a duty to preserve that opportunity to every one of these Americans. And what better to do it than some goofy veterans and a heck of a sound engineer and co-host? Just saying. Let's do it, man. I'm ready. So <laughs> we, we got it planned out. It's mapped out. We're going to take a quick break. And w- You Okay. Yeah, I was just checking the time. That's your job. So yeah. we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll give something away, and maybe we can get Will to tell some jokes. Oh, gosh. <laughs> that was the joke. You're listening to Back to the Lodge on 100.9 The Farm. This country was born to believe in something larger than itself, a belief that the citizens within it could accomplish anything, from defeating an empire to sending a man to the moon. We built cities, formed the land, And through this, an original spirit was born that has forged friendships, been celebrated, and at times been the cause of debate. We might not always agree, but there is one thing we can all agree on, love of country and love of a fine bourbon. America Bourbon, vet owned and made proudly in the USA, available nationwide at most leading retailers and at (laughs) AmericaBourbon.com. This moment was brought to you by Higdon Outdoors, a leader in the waterfowl industry for over 25 years. Check us out at HigdonOutdoors.com. Higdon Outdoors has been helping waterfowl hunters make the most of their time in the field for over 25 years. We are a family-owned company and we're proud to serve duck and goose hunters just like you. We make high-quality, innovative decoys and hunting products that you can afford, helping you focus on what's really important. Check us out at HigdonOutdoors.com. Innovation. Quality. 
customer service. That's Higdon Outdoors. Get real. Get Higdon. 100.9 The Farm. And we're back to Lodge in studio. Live with us tonight, Mr. Will Easley. Hello. <laughs> cue, cue the applause. <laughs> We can do that with the new soundboard. Yeah, we can. <laughs> we'll be able to do it in January. Yeah, we will. When we go to shot show. Mm-hmm. We'll have all kinds of applause. Sure will, yeah. I think most of... Nah, yeah. We're not going to spoil it. No, nope. leave okay. it. Leave it alone. Just remember, Nick. Okay. Cameras will be rolling. Okay. At all times. Okay. It's not frightening at all. Mm-mm. We got one rolling on us right now. Yeah. I forgot about it, to be honest. Hey, guys. <laughs> How could you forget? Uh, I don't know. You can even watch on your phone while you're sitting there. Nope, he can't find his phone. I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the car. <laughs> Somewhere, but it's not my car, so I don't... It, it's Tony's car, so I don't know the normal places to look when you lose the phone. Like my truck, I'll find it in two seconds. Her car, ten minutes. Don't know where it is. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, I think it's time to give away another shirt. Let's do it. You're the guest. Okay. How should we do the giveaway? Oof. I don't know. How'd you do the last one? We made people share the live video. I don't know. About whoever has the best embarrassing story, they're willing to share on air. (laughs) No, because that could get bad. Yeah, that could get really bad. Not maybe not on air. Whoever has the best embarrassing story about you. No, I'll take it. Let's do it. <laughs> I wonder if Tawny's still listening. Hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. I think that we should give it, get the people that are just listening through the website, an option also. The people that yeah. are listening local, not just the Facebook people. Yeah. So I think we do a shotgun start. We're not going to tell you when, but call number one is what I'd like to see. And what are they going to do? Tell the embarrassing story about Will? No, they're going to call in. <laughs> They might not even know Will. Well, here's the thing. They're calling. They're going to be live on the air. No, do it during break. During a break. <laughs> like we used to do. I'm Back still going to tell the Nacho story if somebody makes a donation to one of the charities. Tawny, and then, Tawny you can't win. And then I have the most embarrassing. Because this is what my father wants to tell everybody. is the most embarrassing story about me ever. So, like Matt, to get in front of this, I'll just tell the story. But you got to make a donation to the Bo Bonifred Fund. I do? No. Whoever wants to. <laughs> in order to tell that story, that's what I'm saying. Seems Look, fair. It, it involves a toy store and bowel movements. Hmm. So, you and bowel movements. Not go way back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> go way back. I mean, most people have since they're born, you know. That's fair. Not as frequently as others. That's true. Spaghetti burgers. infrequently as others. Yep. <laughs> that one. <laughs> look, and that's it. Look, it, it don't get any more embarrassing than that. So, mm, not yet. <laughs> no, it won't. We haven't. I mean, I don't think even as an adult there's anything you could do that'd be more embarrassing than We that have story. not yet told the story of what happened to Nick in Vegas. Yes, that's true. Oof. Oh. Is, we oh. haven't even gone yet. <laughs> well, well, I put you the, have. I put the meme comment kinda. or the gif. Giffy? How do you say it? Gif? Giffy? I'm not a doctor. Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Never a dull moment with Will. The, I was heard. The gift. gif comments. It used to be called Giffy on a different app. Now it's gif. Just GIF. Which GIF is technically an image. It's a picture. So I don't know. But anyways, uh, somebody posted that we're covering Shot Show Vegas, so I put the GIF <clears throat> picture in that said it was the uh, from the scene, The Hangover, when they're walking down the hall going to the elevator. <laughs> and uh, what's uh, what's the fat one? Zach Galifianakis. I don't know well, what Yeah, but is. what was his character name? Was Not it? Stu. Stu was the non Alan. Yes, Alan. It was Alan. So Alan's walking down the hallway Whoops. and like <laughs> flipping his hair, you know, with his man purse. Majestic. And I'm like, that is so mad. <laughs> this is going to be mad. We have to recreate that scene walking no, down the hallway. No, no, no. <clears throat> On that note and costume idea, when he's got the baby strapped to his chest. <laughs> yeah. Got, well, I'm bringing a baby back. Well, I was saying you could be 
the baby. Oh. Dad can walk around with you strapped to his chest. <laughs> That's fine. I don't got to walk, man. Yeah. But no. I will have to listen. Never mind. No more one-man no. wolf pack. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's two of you. <laughs> can, I, can I wear a one-man wolf pack shirt? One-man wolf pack? Have you ever watched the movie? But Nick looks yeah. like the guy. He kind of looks like the dentist. He, oh god no 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 he looks like the one oh that's yeah getting married. he does the one that's getting married that gets left on the roof yeah, yeah. so just <laughs> spoiler alert go to the roof well no it's not a spoiler alert spoiler alert he when looks he like starts the one that got left on the roof the entire premise of the movie is to find him <laughs> yeah but if he's hung over tired and sunburned he's gonna sound like luke bryan up there Dog, the movie's, something really the movie's 10 years old <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't seen it by now sorry it's gotta philip be, you get a pass it's gotta be older than that <laughs> i don't know it could be it probably is. Not there's like five people. of them or something now. I think there's only three. Because the one's in Bangkok, and we can make that happen, too. <laughs> it is 11 years old. Oof. It's close. I'm good at this. Kind of. I was closest without going over. Like you said, you're not a math magician. That's a fact. <laughs> you just have no clue what you're in for, Nick. This is going to be so much fun. Because I'm not on the receiving <clears throat> end of this, which makes it so much better. Well. You know, I really hope that... Uh, <laughs> it doesn't go as far as me getting kidnapped and then I'm gone forever. I hope. Oh it, no! I hope. It, wow! No, I don't want you to be gone forever. But the other part, I'm okay with. This got so dark. <laughs> we will find you, Nick. You'll be found. I might be dead. No. I can. I can find anything. Yeah, we, that Promise. is a fact. We'll just. We'll Promise. just start by roofing you. <laughs> yep. And go from there. Full start. Now, Excuse me. That's that's the spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I did think about. We could put Benadryl in his drink, mm-hmm. let him pass out, and mm-hmm. then get a bunch of ground meat from the grocery store. Yes, there's grocery stores in Vegas, and put it in the in the tub. <laughs> Vegas people and then have to eat. Tape him with medical tape and no. some gauze. Oh, okay, liquid pork. Chocolate. So when you wake sure. up, you find ground meat sure. in the in the tub with ice water and a bandage on your stomach. That all sounds good, but I think Somebody what you're saying right now <laughs> makes it premeditated. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that just jumped from you know, like second to first degree rule. I'm gonna but ask, what's what's premeditated? We didn't do anything to him. We didn't take his kidney. I'm going to ask the lobby for like padlocks right. on my door. <laughs> they don't do that. What kind of place? This isn't a Super 8. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, no discredit to Super 8 in that kind of Right. No, no. They just gold bidets aren't standard everywhere. <laughs> I'm just going to ask... I don't know. I, I I might hire security outside my door. In Vegas, yeah. we'll be in the room with you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so why? My, no, no, no. My bedroom. Well, Matt will be in there with you. Cuddles. Oh no! You are welcome. <laughs> It'll be really warm. For some mm. reason, I was under the impression that we were all getting our separate rooms. Well, separate beds. Mm. For I now. I guess I mistook that. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited for this. You can have the couch. Uh, but it's impossible to lock have... the open floor plan living room. Mm. I'll find a way. So really, you've just got to hide from Dad. Dana, Dana. And he can't hide. He's I'll, I'll big sleep big. in the bathroom. Green giant. That yes. one has a definite door. That does lock. Well, actually, I don't think it does. The bathroom? Yeah. It's a, it's a you new haven't age. seen it's this a bathroom. bathroom. <laughs> Look, Nick, you bathroom haven't been to Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> like, How does a bathroom has, not have a door? It has a glass oh, hall. Like <laughs> the, it's like the boot camp bathrooms. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Group shower. Everybody's there a, everybody. Is there a closet or something? <laughs> Are you going to come out of the closet? Ooh. No, no I'm going to go there. in. <laughs> I could have gone somewhere with that too. I think yeah, he did. let's not do that. <laughs> I, think <laughs> did. I think you went there, <clears throat> but that's okay. I, I think uh, you know. Uh. I wonder if we could get Nick in the Bellagio fountain. Yes, once. <laughs> yeah, once. <laughs> do anything you want, and then Matt and once. I get put in the slammer. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that and Nick's gonna be I too wet to bail us out and mad. Oh, I don't have enough oh. money to bail y'all out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Trade you some shot show tickets for <laughs> my friend. Well, my my people I came here with. <laughs> These two guys <laughs> that threw me in the fountain to begin with. Look, look, at that moment at that moment I will truly be at peace. Because I will not have to worry about you two in the room with me. Or getting home. 
It, hey. <laughs> Hey, it's we a are, long walk. We are your ride home, too. No, we have a ride. No, I'm talking about the plane. I have your ticket. Uh-oh. But I will have it at that moment in time. No, you won't. How? It, it would be all wet. It's on my phone. It's an app. Oh, I got you. <laughs> yeah, you better be nice. <laughs> <laughs> His Look, wheels are spinning. There is a, trying to figure there this is out. a simple <clears throat> solution to that. What's that? Just tell him what happened. Hey. My buddy got arrested on this trip. I need to get back home, and my ticket is on his phone. Yep. Did Flight. you hear him correctly? He assumes we're going to get arrested. Right. I won't. And airline people, well, especially if Jim's Vegas, with us, we're good. Look, man, I'll I've be definitely honest with never you, heard crazy stories before. I do not condone <laughs> running from the police, but I'm faster than Nick. I'm certain. I don't have I don't to know, be the man. fastest one. I just don't have to be the slowest one. Exactly Your legs right. are the. You you have one step for our seven. I'm like yeah. a gazelle. <laughs> that would a trophy gazelle. I've chased Matt down somewhere. I can't remember where we were at. You Ooh. ran and I chased after you. So we need a we need a live video foot race tomorrow. Is that what I'm? I got to bring on my ankle brace. <laughs> <laughs> we got plenty of wood at the shop. We'll get something together. Nick's gonna have his orthopedics on. <laughs> We're going to take a quick break. You're listening to Back to Lodge on 100.9 The Farm. Hey, let's just be honest. No one can ever completely beat a mature whitetail census. But if you play your cards right, you can fool them. Now, for all the work you put in to getting this close, make sure the camo you choose is up to the task. Mossy Oak. Made for moments like this. IC Tech now has tumblers and apparel. Check out ictech.com or visit the hardware house in Huntingdon, Bennett's Hardware of McKenzie, or Rev Power Sports in Jackson to find all your IC Tech coolers and accessories. IC Tech, the classic roto molded cooler that started an entire industry. 100% veteran owned and operated. IC Tech USA. 100.9 The Farm, and we are back to the lodge, and Will is good. Well, until he pulls his microphone Ish. down. Ish. Now I'm good. There we go. Now he's live. All <clears throat> right. So, do we have you nervous yet? Somebody's breathing like they're nervous. <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> was that you? Yeah. <laughs> it was like, it was like, <laughs> yeah. Sound like a bad I'm so excited. Halloween soundtrack. <laughs> We're going to have to get a key grip. Look, I, in all seriousness, yes, oh. I am ner- You good? It's stuck. There we go. How's that? It was just stuck. In all Can seriousness, I am super excited because <clears throat> it's a new experience that I have never had before. Love new experiences. And uh, poss- almost a guarantee of meeting new people, making new friendships, relationships, all this and that. Rude. Thank you. And... Uh, you know, use your words. It's a it's a trip. So, look, Nick, we're gonna have fun. There is yeah, obviously yeah. work that has to be done. Look, I'm, I'm not afraid of work. And if I can have fun doing it, come on. Now he's getting confident, and I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I like look, it. Look, okay, okay. You have to you have to know something. If it deals with anything uh, production, like in audio or video or anything like that i know that i'm good at it i went to school for it right i mean that's what i'm doing here now so challenge accepted okay yeah keep this confidence up for the rest of the time i know you (laughs) i like it i can dig it Uh, yeah as long as it's just about audio and video well, it, <laughs> oh it'll be more <laughs> you just wait we may have to we'll learn you to something some, to some other things <laughs> well <laughs> i'm yep gonna leave that alone we'll just <clears throat> that was almost his fault dad i don't even know what to say right now i'm i'm literally visualizing <laughs> nick coming back on the flight looking at matt and going what happened? <laughs> you know, and that might happen. <laughs> it might. It might happen. That's why I put you in the aisle away from me. Look. I could swap seats on the way back. <laughs> you, could, you could rest <laughs> on dad's shoulder on the way back. 
<laughs> that's why I asked. Like, what was the worst case scenario? So if you have Chatty Caddy next to you or the first time flyer, you know. Yeah, I'd just rather have somebody that's just super talkative than anything else. That'd be the opposite of you. <laughs> Wait, so I'm, I'm sitting next to you? Look, yeah. So you got Chatty Cathy sitting next to you. I'll sleep through the whole thing. No, you Look, don't. Not if you're getting poked in the arm. It's hard to sleep. <laughs> as long that look on your face. As long as I have a window seat. <laughs> yeah, just make sure you pack your own bag when TSA opens your bag. I'm going to embarrass you so bad. Just think about this. If you're asleep, you can't guard your phone. So not the last time I flew. It'll be in my pocket. Not the last time I flew, but the time before <laughs> is the time that TSA found out that the uh, nine and a half inch Tonto tip K bar that I thought I had lost had not been lost. <laughs> and that went well? No. I, I mean, all things considered, yes, it went very well. I did not get the knife back, but I also didn't get arrested or a ticket or none of that. So I'm on a list. I've like, been on a plane three times in my life. First time was when. After boot leave, <clears throat> when they flew me from Nashville to Jacksonville. How did you get from here to Paris Island? I walked. I don't know. <laughs> I, had take, I had to take a bus. Oh, you did? I, I, we no need to church it up. It was a van. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and I was so I was so concerned. We were late. Uh, we're, I don't know if this happens often, but... <laughs> it's when you get off the bus, they say you're late. No, it... Literally, there were there were six buses that left from Nashville. We showed up so late. The, there was a drill instructor that walked out. I was like, "What are y'all doing?" <laughs> well, I don't know. Just here for boot camp stuff. <laughs> Why do people normally show up? You know, and they said, uh, "All right, hold on, just a second. We got there like four hours after everybody else because our driver drove like fifty miles an hour the whole way, and then wanted to hang out at the place." golden corral or whatever it was <laughs> and then he lost our our meal tickets so we had, we had to wait for him to like search through his one bag that he had and uh, it was a train wreck and then it was somehow worse than everything else i've heard about initial experiences because they were mad because we were late it was it was a thing and then we had to sit in a room for like six extra hours and, speaking of one bag i really <laughs> want to see matt with a back to the line shirt on that's like small carrying a satchel so one that fits him and a man purse speaking of one bag this has bothered me for three (laughs) this has bothered me for three days ever since you had let us know that okay i'll let you know tonight for some reason i had a strong hunch that we were only going to be taking one bag and trust your gut it has it has bothered the crap out of me so the phone call we had about you know Dressing nice and presentable and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. Um, I have a suit. If we're, if we're taking blazers, how am I going to fit two or three of those in one bag along with a week's worth of clothes? Blazers. Carry one. Blaze. Carry one. No. It's called one. a jacket. Yeah, no. roll, roll the sleeves. No. Mm-hmm. Roll the center. Button yeah. both buttons. Roll yeah. the center. Roll the sleeves. Yeah. And it fits Military tight. roll, bro. There's... But and it not be wrinkled. There's it's this magic rolled. device called a steamer. It's in your room. It's oh, it comes iron. with one. <laughs> you can also use. Nick, a hair you remember dryer. the room that we got? Look, man, <laughs> you are talking to somebody that freaking lives in a cardboard box just down the street from here. You don't okay. live in a cardboard box. Well, your cardboard Almost. box has an iron apparently because your shirt looks pressed. No, that's called jacket. that's called the dryer. That's they what have I those do there too. too. That's what I do too. I just. What time? <laughs> if, I, if my shirt that I'm going to put on is wrinkled, throw her in the dryer for about five minutes. Exactly. Slap it on. Sometimes we throw exactly. Matt in the dryer for five Show minutes. Show do. But yeah, no, man. Well, I got to the... have like two or three different blazers, man. Different colors. Man, you are worse than a woman. So how about Dude, this? No. Don't do that. I want to look good, okay? <laughs> I like Will's advice. I want to yeah. look good. So roll them together. I don't, don't bring underwear. Just <laughs> you got to cycle something out, man. Or no, bring a man. big bag. I got to have my underwear. Well... Can't well, at least, bag. no well, check. I mean, you know, it's a freeing experience. I mean, no. Uh, the a, z- the no. zipper is pretty hey, lethal. We're not going to pretend like this in the thing. Do you have a Brit in your hair? <laughs> <laughs> he does have a hair clip. <laughs> I never realized how big your forehead was. <laughs> <laughs> and that's saying something because mine goes all the way back. All the way back. At least you didn't say a five head. You don't love it. 
It's like a six and a quarter. <laughs> well, not your hand. Your hand's That's the size of his head. <laughs> That's a four. You have a giant hand. Nope. I know. <laughs> <laughs> now you look the Girl Scout salute right there. <laughs> oh, um, we're getting stupid. Too late. Getting or yeah, are? Too late. Been. <laughs> yeah. Have been. Had been. Look, we've got 12 episodes to mm-hmm. torment you. Just 12? Look, man, when we get back from Vegas, it's all over. <laughs> yeah, that's what you said! I said we don't pick on you anymore. You're not a greenhorn. What's the torment, then? That means Is we're going to tell the stories. <laughs> Look, I know we've said this, that so we're not going to pick on them, but Patrick, you've known me for a year and a half now. That's <laughs> how I communicate. Mm-hmm. It's a rite of passage. Well, then I guess we're losing... Friendship after we get it's back. Funny that he thought we had it. Gain, <laughs> gaining friendship. That's oh, what it is. If we don't oh, mess my, with you, my mistake. Yeah, probably don't, don't like. If you. I don't mess with you, I don't like you. That's how it goes. I know Nick didn't know what he was signing up for when he was in the studio, and he's no. like, "Man, these veterans are going to do a radio show. Oh, I want to be part of it." <laughs> yeah. Careful what you wish for. Hey, man. Hey, it's exciting. I, I enjoy listening to y'all. Somehow. I guess I'm doing a great job by leading y'all on to believe that I hate this. Do you know how hard it is to be accepted in this circle? <laughs> I, I guess not. No, that's <laughs> well, I mean, in my defense, it was I was accepted easily as far as to my knowledge, in, in my perspective. Should we tell them the truth? Sure. Yeah. I mean, please. If there's something I don't know, please tell me. I don't know. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't listening. I was responding. <laughs> <laughs> Keep looking at me like Matt say something. I don't even know what we're talking about. In all fairness, I think our friendship started because of my Hawaiian shirts. I remember the first thing the first thing you really ever said to me. I thought it was the mustache. Was man, I miss it. I do. <laughs> but okay, maybe it's the mustache and the Hawaiian shirts. I don't know. But when you said, Hey, we gotta we got this idea for a video. I ain't going to do the tail. So. <laughs> yeah. Patrick was like, "We don't know anybody that's that loud." He's like, "Yeah, we do. <laughs> yes, we do." And but will he? Will he find it funny? Yes, he will. Yeah, I don't <laughs> care. But you know, I just—it's a little cold for Hawaiian shirts right now. I don't know what we're talking about. It was the video of somebody sitting by a campfire entitled. Oh yeah. yeah. But we were going to use. I forgot all about that. I wouldn't even have to buy a wardrobe. Just, it's there. It's your normal stuff. <laughs> Dude, I have a Hawaiian shirt, too. I have, like, they're called Aloha. Of them. Aloha shirts. Aloha shirts? Aloha. You dress for the weather you I have want, one. not the weather you have. I like that. Right? I figured you might. Can I, can I use that? Nope. Trademark. Are we all going to hmm. go to Vegas with Aloha shirts and mustaches? Dude, I'm down. So. I'm not. <laughs> No, but now that we know you're going to do it, no, I was only going to do it if y'all did it. All right, we I don't, will, I don't we will all we will all do it. Show up at the airport with the mustache and the Hawaiian shirt. You're not getting me on that one. Well, then why would we do it if you're not going to do it? Because I know exactly what you're going to do. You're going to say, "Oh yeah, we did it," and then I'm the only one that shows up with a mustache. Yeah, where's your Halloween costume? That's a good call. <laughs> <laughs> where's your Halloween? You're costume? learning. <laughs> at you home. didn't do that either. At home. So see. Would snakeskin Crocs go well in Vegas? Why not? Um, yeah. More the merrier. It's shot show. Somebody's going to find it funny. I have seen mm. worse. A snakeskin Crocs and like a silver blazer. Yeah. I'll be sharp. you got to love the 4 a.m. Moo Moo Patrol. So, They're that everywhere. one's going to need some explanation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, me too. Well, okay, so... This is going to sound bad. There's no nice way of saying this. I just totally opened up the Pandora's box. He did. He did. Certain age groups like to get an early start. Right. Some of them don't change out of their moo-moos. Old people. Uh, I'm not 100 percent Moo-moos like the gown. Yeah. 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 Yeah, That's cute. And they show up in those. (laughs) Yeah. So Nick. Usually in the hum around. Oh. What'd you say? Ooh. In the hover round. Oh, hover I'm round. in now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can't. Yeah. <laughs> Matt's a little yeah. aroused. Uh, <laughs> not a little. <laughs> no, it's little. A medium. His pants just got shorter. It's hard to work. <laughs> <sighs> I 
I was told to like. What happened to Nick? <laughs> he was such a sweet, innocent kid. <laughs> what with the we all did to me? <laughs> Just wait, bud. Well, I, it's not my fault. I haven't known him as long as you guys have. So that's, I think, 100% their fault. Yeah, sure. Oh, no, it is. It, yeah. It, yeah. Yeah, it is. So I'm the innocent one here, <laughs> per usual. Yeah. The usual. Set that all yeah. by real quick. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> Never a dull moment. 13 weeks, Nick. Are we doing this call in or what are we doing for the other shirt? We yeah. Figured it out. Call in. We're running out of time, aren't we? We got I lost my phone. 25 minutes. Right, 25 minutes. I'm saying do a quick one, do a quick song break. Yeah. First one to call. Wow. Okay. Race. You ready, Nick? Yeah, let's do it. It's time for you to do some work, huh? Be careful. Like I said, man, I'm not afraid of work. He said, this is his jam. This is my jam. <laughs> I made him say it. Let me, you know what? Somebody asked me this the other day. No, actually, it was somebody who asked a friend of mine this the other day. What? If you could pick any theme song to come on when you walk into a room, what would it be? Hmm. <sighs> <laughs> That's gonna be you. Was that supposed to be a joke at me? It may play every time <laughs> you walk anymore. into the room. Because <laughs> I was thinking more of like uh, we all know the song. <laughs> that was pretty good, <laughs> Matt. <clears throat> Are you walking here? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Nothing. Not off the top of my head. For some reason, my head keeps going to the Lion King song. <laughs> <laughs> so, another costume idea. Dad picks you up. Pazavania! <laughs> yeah, I don't know the words, but <laughs> I just... <laughs> yeah. Hey, no. Oh, my God. Hey, no. <clears throat> what about you, Will? Oh, hands down, here comes the sun. <laughs> <laughs> And that's no why they question. call me dad. No question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I've always had... No, it's that one. No question. All right, let's give away a t-shirt. Yeah. The number. You had a little loop in there. What? That stroke said, thing again. <laughs> the number. No, I didn't do it that way. It got a little funny. It did. It did. The number. <laughs> that's better. <laughs> oh, my God. If you want to win a t-shirt, I don't know why the hell you'd want a t-shirt at this point, but if you want to win a t-shirt... They're soft. They are. They are. Super soft. They're also sharp. Like a chinchilla belly. <laughs> Not the sharp part, the soft part. I don't think their bellies are sharp. Their like, teeth are. Like a chinchilla belly. I'm done. I am so done. <laughs> if you'd like to win a shirt, Nick will autograph it for you. I will. I will. Give us a call at the farm, 866-708-FARM, 866-708-3276. First caller, you're getting a t-shirt. You're listening to Back to Lodge on 100.9 The Farm. Get up. Woo, look at there. This moment was brought to you by Higdon Outdoors, a leader in the waterfowl industry for over 25 years. Check us out at HigdonOutdoors.com. Higdon Outdoors has been helping waterfowl hunters make the most of their time in the field for over 25 years. We are a family-owned company, and we're proud to serve duck and goose hunters just like you. We make high-quality, innovative decoys and hunting products that you can afford, helping you focus on what's really important. Check us out at HigdonOutdoors.com. Innovation. Quality. Customer service. That's Higdon Outdoors. Get real. Get Higdon. This country was born to believe in something larger than itself. A belief that the citizens within it could accomplish anything. From defeating an empire to sending a man to the moon, we built cities, formed the land, and through this an original spirit was born that has forged friendships, been celebrated, and at times been the cause of debate. We might not always agree, but there is one thing we can all agree on, love of country and love of a fine bourbon. America Bourbon, 
vet owned and made proudly in the USA. Available nationwide at most leading retailers and at americabourbon.com. 100.9, we are back to launch. Are you okay? <laughs> I heard you go, whoop! You forgot what? to push the button. <laughs> Congratulations to our winner, Matthew. Amber Wright of McKenzie. Got there it. you go. Amber won the t-shirt. Bunch of callers came in. Nick's like, what do I do? Say we have a winner. Man. Huh? Don't just let him ring. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Somebody hit the pause button? Yeah, he's got a pause button. It randomly gets pushed. Come on, Nick. Oh. Is that, is that it? Yep. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, all right where are we at Six, four, eight, forty-six. we got 14 minutes left. thank you captain obvious why you ask <laughs> oh, I, didn't know, I didn't know how far these pauses were going you know i just want to <laughs> bring they it go. back they go they do go Word. what do we want to do matt's in charge oh. Oh. oh what do we do boys defer the torch well, I wanted to try the pause thing, too. <laughs> like, like it was my turn. Are we doing the regular post-show antics tonight? Yeah. I thought so. I wasn't sure. We can. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Is Will going? Yeah. You, you, got a you normally do. This is the one I got. Like the only one that you have? <laughs> that I'm aware of? <laughs> Well, he's no help. You coming with us post show? <laughs> Am I what? You coming with us to our? You gotta post, do some singing to our post show party. I'm not singing. Okay, well, we don't want you to oh, sing. Either. We can do live air karaoke. <laughs> I think I think that is a tremendous idea. I hate you. I have a new song now. You do? I do. It's an Elvis song. Okay. How about that? Yeah. Since I threw out every other song I've ever done. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> and you went with Elvis. It wasn't my choice, actually. It was what? Deb's choice. Oh, okay. She's like, why don't you try this? I impressed myself. That's always a good thing. I mean, if Donald Trump sang a song, I would try that. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be huge. <laughs> I don't sing karaoke. You I'll listen. Don't sing karaoke. You don't get the lucky charms. No. Anybody want to guess Jim's BAC? He, that's what at he commented the, on Facebook. At the moment? I'm going to go with like. Hold on. Hold what's on. the high score? <clears throat> so hold on. So let's go back to the fact that he's got something that tells him an accurate BAC just chilling. He oh, absolutely. is a COP. I'm going to go with. Um, gotcha. 0.12. Oh, lame. I mean, he's not a hard drinker. I'm going to go with point one two. No, it's higher than that. Yeah. I don't know. It's higher than that. Point. Point oh nine one. That's lower, goofball. What'd you say? Also, I said point also one two. Oh, not a math no. magic. <laughs> point oh nine. Point oh nine one. <laughs> point oh eight. I think. Is the I know. Limit. I think he's right above the legal limit. Mm-mm. Point one seven. Point one seven. Jim, are you gonna? Answer this riddle for us. Nick, what's your guess? 2.0. Or does Nick not get the... Whoa. 2.0. <laughs> 2.0 <He's dead> twice. <laughs> twice. Well, I guess I'll never get to meet Mr. Jim. 200% of his blood. I was with Jim on a DUI stop many, 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 many years ago. <laughs> and, and, and you know, just like the magic question, Jim asked him, how many drinks did you have? And the it's answer always is always... three? No, two. Oh, well. It's two beers. I feel like three is more believable. As I got older... I realize that always means two being the first one and the last one. Mm. People don't count in between. Mm. And I don't know what Sir. it was that night. The kid was really close to home. Jim said standby. He was like, <laughs> he's going on. Video where it didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, video where it didn't happen. <laughs> but he was like right there, right at the limit, like point oh eight, right on the money. Mm-hmm. And it's passed his field sobriety and he's like, call your parents. Mm. And I'm like, wow, there's humility. Uh oh, what's going on? No, I'm showing, I'm showing him mine and Jim's relationship. Oh, and then the best part is, is he loved my photo and I loved his photo. He said it's like an abusive relationship. 
if, said, if and I love it. If you're listening on the radio, they were sending uh, what they call that a California howdy from the Beverly Hillbillies. We always heard Michigan hello. <clears throat> Uh, Everywhere's don't probably me, got their own. Don't get me started on Michigan. Yeah, Jim said you're going to be Ohio. sorely disappointed and probably lose respect. No. He's probably like .04. The only way that that happens is if it's, is if it's super low. Yeah. Well, if he was drinking that... I said .17. I was going to say .19, but... And I said what? .12. Oh. The fact is he's actually Nick's, doing this. Nick said 25 or something. <laughs> yeah. And who did uh, you say? Yeah, it's pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty five is as attainable as two. In, in full disclosure, we do not encourage uh, overconsumption. Jim's uh-huh. behavior. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you just did, Matt, but it says that you're watching with us. You're welcome. How did you do that? I don't have a clue. Yeah, it's still are, showing me as. Are you watching with us? I'm still. I'm still back to the lodge. I don't know. Yeah, you are back to the lodge. You're yeah. welcome. <laughs> you're here. You're on the shirt. And trailer. Matthew Denise. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not my middle name. Oh, you know what? Speaking of allegedly female names with the last name Dredska, I am sorely disappointed that your mother did not come on the show and tell a story. Um, she got, she absolutely will, but she wants my dad to be the first one to come on. Um, I mean, we Love still Mama have Kim, but nine would minutes. Not hate it, dead Daddy Dave guy. So, if Mister <laughs> Dave Dredska wants to give us a call at eight six six seven zero eight three two seven six, we have time. He's, I think he's got poker night tonight. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I thought he listened to your show. Yeah, it only lasted a while. <laughs> Sometime. Now that it's podcast, they wait till that. Ah, uh, it's probably best. Come on, Jim, hurry up. <laughs> He's probably blown in the wrong end. <laughs> <laughs> then, I'm, then I know I'm right. Point oh five two. In fairness, I never said that I was wrecked. Lame. Nick is within the realm some days. <laughs> he wow. made this as if he's lucky. So I won. What would you say? Point I was the lowest. Yeah, you were the lowest without going over. But the price is wrong. That's not what he said. Just who is the closest? Closest wins. You were the closest. Yeah. What did, what did, what you, did win? you win? Jim, what do I win? What, what, I don't know. If, can you say it on... <laughs> were there any mistakes? <laughs> do not disclose it on the air. Just read his message. If you want to partake in this, you have to be on the Facebook Live. Or text me. <laughs> if it can't be on there No, either. put it on the Facebook Live, because then we can all see it. I'm here for it. <laughs> we may have to be here for Matt when he finds out what he won. <laughs> it's a good thing he's still a ways away. I mean, where, he can be where is he? He's in Ohio. Yeah, Northern Ohio. Oh. <clears throat> it's probably cold. Hmm? It's probably cold. You guys were getting snow. Well, not you, yeah. but... Yeah. South Canada. South Canada. <laughs> hey. Don't you know. <laughs> don't you know. <laughs> we're going down here, don't you know. I miss does my mom? Does my mom sound... I love it. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> and she's such a great sport about it, too, because I... You know, I don't talk the same as her or you sometimes or as people <clears throat> most of the time no so i love when she comes down she gets so excited and it gets thicker the more excited and the faster she talks like when she's talking to ray or something she'll just she has so much fun <laughs> <laughs> okay yes jim is not going to comment that on facebook live <laughs> When this goes to full visual podcast, <laughs> I are, think I'd rather that still not be a thing. Yeah. <laughs> Even there's a limitation. That's yeah. a limitation. That's right, Jim. If you want to send them, I'll still look at them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Although it is hard to work. Uh, I, almost, I almost finished it. <laughs> <laughs> the best part about the new build, and it's one that I think Dad forgets, is <laughs> why are you still calling me Dad? Because we're still here. <laughs> is our artwork behind the new sheetrock? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why do you call it ours? I didn't do any of it. Yeah, but you were in the room. Yeah, but you did it all. <clears throat> yeah, but accessory counts. <laughs> what did you do? Artwork. In the studio? Where the windows used to be. Okay. I was left oh, unattended yeah, yeah, yeah. far too long. I saw that. Straight out of the porta potties of. Was that a Sharpie or a highlighter? 
Sharpie. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen, you know, I've seen a lot of things during this build. Highlighter has not been one. Mm-mm. We yeah. we did lose a lot of markers, but then we found them. I've got three in my desk right now. Oh. Jim so we didn't lose them, you just stole them. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jim said he knew it, by the way. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he knew it, you blew it. There you go. Well, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> so, so what happened was, we were so getting kicked off this show. <laughs> you the word. To take, take one of those Sharpies and cross off the names or something. <laughs> Rest in peace. Just change it. <laughs> Podcast will be in front of McDonald's. <laughs> phone and- <laughs> We'll have, we'll have Matt in the play section. <laughs> <laughs> Closed. Closed. Row, row. The lavalier mics, which are the wireless mics, will reach the tunnel of the spaceship. And Matt can go up in there. <laughs> you know which play place is not I closed? I didn't understand any of the words you said put together like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know play place isn't closed? The one that you got to build for your daughter now. <sighs> mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Mm-hmm. She, thinks, she thinks it's a playground when we go to the new shop. Oh, no, the video she was watching of that ball pit. I know. And I she told wants her that you're going to build. I told her you you're also tried build. to give her a prop cupcake that looked like it was made with <laughs> Shrek snot and I don't know, something. Well, like Your face foam. is exactly right. What's funny, what's funny <laughs> you is... You were trying to give his daughter rabbits. Yeah, soft, furry rabbits, not whoa, whoa. fake, <laughs> whoa. yucky. Stop that no, conversation no, right no. now. <laughs> What's funny is you don't. Well, if you're do you have any right. idea where, no, that, where that cupcake is? <laughs> what is going on? His, his chair just said, "Maybe next time." <laughs> <laughs> I just. You have such a long way to fall, too. First floor. <laughs> that was, Women's that, department. That was the elevator. <laughs> elevator we were talking about. Uh, yes, my leg went up under my chair and hit the lower part. <laughs> and when you have legs that are four feet long, the, your leg gets to stuck the under the chair because the chair is now crushing your leg and it's still going down. So the only choice I had was to lean forward and almost fall out of it. So I'm now. I'm not going to say I wish that had happened. Oh. But it wouldn't hurt. I, would, I didn't feel a thing. I'm going to have to watch the playback on Facebook Live because that was bad. <laughs> All right. We're back up to the third floor, but we're about out of time here at the Lodge. So until the new Lodge. And Will, thank you for coming on the show tonight. Hey, I enjoyed it. We appreciate your hard work, dedication, service to this country, and your passion for the outdoors. Thank you for your service. Thank you for yours. Thank you for your service. I- Oh my gosh! <laughs> How many seconds, Nick? How many seconds? Oh, we're good to go, man. Okay, <laughs> yeah, come on. So, Too many. <laughs> until next time, ask yourself, what are you grateful for? Live from West Tennessee, I'm Patrick. I think I'm still Matt. <laughs> I'm Nick. Hey, I'm Will. And we are out at Back to the Lodge. We'll see you next week. Hey guys, Nick here from Back to the Lodge. If you like the show, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and click the notification bell so you can be notified when our next show gets uploaded. And if you want to listen live, don't forget to tune in each Wednesday night from 6 to 9 Central. You can go to our website at backtothelodge.com, click the Listen Now button, and you'll be back to the Lodge. The link to our website is down below in the description, backtothelodge.com. Until next time, we'll see you next week. Back to the Lodge.